Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Mike Pye here, back with another Warhammer video, fifth in the series, this one. Me and Twisted Karma, we went at it for about four or five hours. It was a great battle, uh, no uh, real uh, hang-ups or anything like in the previous battle that we had. I've not uploaded that one, I didn't mention to you. We had a previous battle to this one, and it went on for eight hours. We didn't take any breaks. Surprise, surprise, we're both tired and it doesn't come across very well. <laughs> Just to summarize that one for you. Uh, I have a little video here, and uh, this is like turn one, I was fielding Tazine, she was fielding, Silver, fielding Sylvaneth, and you can see by uh, the sort of, well, hang on, by about the hour mark, it was still on my turn, I was really tired, it was a mistake to record it, but we still had a good time, didn't we, Dan? <laughs> yes, Brian. And... We have my Lord of Change in the Tzinch, we have some monsters, some spells, nothing too special going on on my side. Behind these, uh, this sort of wall here I did have some flamers which did some really nice shooting unfortunately. They don't have much rend and Dan's um, Kanafi Hunt as well. You can see, after we looked at a bunch of rules, you can see he sort of started dominating my side of the board. He killed my Vortex Beast pretty early, he killed my Cockatrice. And he got in melee range with my flamers and it was pretty much done. My Lord of Change was pelting out some spells, getting a lot of dispels from Dan. So not much of my magic was going through despite um, having, a, having a bunch of that. By around the three hour, four hour mark, uh, you can see, let me just fast forward, like four hour mark. You can see all I'm down to um, is my Lord of Change, my Cockatrice and a handful of flamers. And he was sneaking around the back here to get this objective. <laughs> Objectives. So we're going to um, go into this match now. I'll leave you with it and I hope you enjoy it. The objectives that we had to do in both games was to land a, uh, a battle line unit on uh, the enemy side of the board. You'll see as it progresses. Hope you enjoy it and I will wish you all a Happy New Year and a Merry Christmas because I've not done that yet. And uh, thanks very much. We appreciate you uh, spending time with us here, uh, etc. Cheers. All right, Dan. I'm I'm just started recording. Say hello to everybody. There's no bullshit today, though. I'm just just gonna chill. Yeah. T -t today, our, our game is sponsored by whatever cough syrup we happen to be using. <laughs> Both men up with cold. Don't expect much. Hey, Dan. Tell them not to expect much. Don't expect much. In fact, we're gonna forget the recording, one. so it's just gonna be a footage dump. So. <laughs> I'm going to be proper lazy and just copy the one I've found and just do that three times. There you go. <laughs> That'll do. Amazing. They're the objectives I got to capture, by the way. He said into the void. Yep. Shut up, Zebedee. <laughs> Thanks, Max. I'll take a look. Somewhat enthusiastically. So you're saying I can delete one piece of scenery, right? Yeah. There's a bit more scenery there than where when I was fighting you. Yeah. Uh... Hold on. I've got to remember how to unlock a an object. You ever heard that Cure song? You're just an object in my eyes. Object, 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 object. You're just an object in my eyes. I was just trying to delete this corner of this building, but apparently I have to delete the whole building, even the corner that's not attached. Alright then. Yeah, you can do that, but it does look like one building, one piece. Yeah, but I figured like that bit here would would be would no. stay and the rest would go. No, it, apparently not. It all goes. That's better. All right, I'm gonna set up my first unit if you're ready, sir. I am ready. So I rolled two and done rolled up one. Oh, the For that amazingly feeders. high rollers that we are. <laughs> <laughs> bottom end of the roll. They're definitely not high rollers. Uh, and I'm gonna begin with. <clears throat> a non-event unit so you can't count on what I'm doing and it's going to be something weird. I'm just going to pop up. Um, I'll introduce as a placement unit. Ogoid, oops, Ogoid Theridons, you know what they do. 
because they're like a bit like the Kanafi guys, but not as strong. Oh, okay. They're not as strong as the Amazing. Good talk. <laughs> that was a really so balanced they're, they're, introduction of that they're, unit, they're, right? They're a bit, they're a bit like Kanafi hunters, but, but shit. <laughs> <That's what you're laughs> as in, like, they get a bit of pen, uh, penetration. It's not penetration. It's, um... Rend. Rend, yes. <clears throat> Your turn. Okay, so I'm, I'm not He's using it. I'm just going to go hard, hardcore straight away. Go on. Uh, this is a Stegodon. <laughs> Thanks for the introduction, no. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it has a... Uh, so there's several options when you pick one to what you want to arm it with. I've armed it with a war machine, basically. So it's got a massive bolt thrower on the top of it that can fire at you. I think it's 36 inches. I can see all the stats. That's cheating. Yeah, I've put the stats in. Didn't like that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it's, got, it's got the uh, Sky Strike bow, not the Sunfire throwers. It's bow gets three attacks, right? Yeah. Minus one and then D three damage. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. No damage three. Not D three. Really HQ. No. It looks like an HQ. That's just a war that's just a monster. Okay. Like a chariot but with pieces of light. <laughs> I'll put down some more um I'll put down some more Grove Third and stuff. <clears throat> Your turn. Okay, I'm going to put down a unit of skinks. <laughs> Excuse me. These are battle line. Oh, that guy stayed up there. Come back down. It's falling on the monument. These are a battle line unit. They've all um, got one HP, by the way. Just to annoy your uh, OCD. No, that, that half thing <laughs> is. I don't. I can't get rid of it. But. <laughs> It's really annoying me, because if you actually <laughs> hover over them, it tells you the actual stat. Yeah, you just have to add an extra. Um, you just have to add have an to extra. Go through every, every, every one of them. Well, no, you could just like, copy-paste. I don't know. Alright. There's the skinks. So they're, they're armed with uh, bolt... Uh, Bolt spitters and and a club. Okay. So they're safe as dog shit, but but they can shoot you as you come. I'll put down some more growth items. I on the other hand will put down some more skinks. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'm actually slightly ahead of the line there. Uh, I'll put them down over here, sorry. There you go. I'm going to put down a slaughter bird. What does that do? He looks fucking cool. <laughs> He's a monster, if you remember. I think he was similar to the one that uh, killed the terrain in our last match. Like, low points, high damage. Um, He's 160 points. He got uh, 14 wounds, 4 plus save. He gets four attacks on his ripped claws, two attacks on his mighty jaws. His ripped claws do d3 damage, his mighty jaws do three damage. Uh, he gets quite a few abilities. Um, yeah. Uh, he, he gets, um, <clears throat> at the end of the combat phase, if he's in melee range of any unit, on the two plus. The unit suffers D3 mortal wounds, and he takes a wound as well. Oh, really good. <coughs> he does look cool. I'll give him that. He does. He's pretty. You get down on him on the camera. Oh, yeah. I'll take your pardon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, for a change, I'm going to uh, push some skinks up. <laughs> nice. I have gone quite hard on the high on the low point cost units. What the fuck so is I this? Have Sorry. Yeah. Lots of men. Mm. How do I delete this piece of scenery? Because it's devastating. It won't let me place anything near it. 
Like literally, it's, I put it there and it goes, all right. All right. <laughs> You've got to right click it because it's a locked object <laughs> at the moment. Click unlock and then you can move it or delete it. So right click. It's just a bit buggy. Toggles. Um, toggles. Unlock. And then you can delete it. it looks pretty Obviously. though, so I'll put it. Yeah, put it there. It's fine. It wasn't going to do anything in this match anyway, because I'm with Fenby. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, oh, anything I put there, it just went flying across the map. Alright. Your turn. My turn. Awesome. Uh, for a change, what I'm going to put out yeah, is some skinks. Nice. <clears throat> And it's your turn. Thank you, thank you. Need a minute. I'm still early to catch up. I'll put out my. Uh, <coughs> it doesn't really matter. I'll just put out my. Uh, um. Um. My fish in the gallery, but. Uh, Through the woods we ride. I mean, you're Wickham Wildwood. <laughs> you're not Savannah. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> I, mean, I forget about that unit. It's kind of blended in. It's still there at the end of the game. <laughs> oh. I need to cough and I can't mute my recording. I'm going to go in the other room and cough while you take this minute. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, so I've just I've just placed my slam star marshal. Is that your HQ? That's my general. Your general, okay. I place some more cavalry. I'm now going to place my uh, skink star master. Okay. Oh, Star Seer, sorry. Star Seer. Mm hmm. Um fire. I'm placing a uh, Bella Core. There it is. Do you, what's your star here? Is he an HQ? Uh, yes, he's a he's a, uh, uh, a sorcerer, a wizard. He's a wizard, Harry. He's a wizard, Harry. Uh, next, I'm going to put my star wizard. priest. Okay. Another wizard, right there. Yep. And then all my other units are in reserve. Oh, okay. I get free reign to play some. Right, 
I am gonna place my cavalry over here. And I'm gonna place my Lord of Corn on Juggernaut. Next to the cavalry here. And I'm gonna place my Blood Stoker. Another HQ. Um, not there. I can't, I'm just trying to see where he places. There we go. <clears throat> and he's a HQ as well. I'm gonna place my Blood Stoker back here. <clears throat> and I'm done. Uh, no, my Blood Altar. Oh, uh, yeah, and my. Uh... My, my temple thing as well. We can use this to bring in summons if all my HQs have been killed with my blood ties, because my blood ties you get to summon in within a certain range of a HQ, but if they're all dead you can use the blood alt. Yeah, <clears throat> I have the same thing with mine. Seraphon is evil. Yeah. I've heard bad things. Sorry for someone who knows what they're doing, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. Sure about to see who his arrow phase is. Yep. Good luck. Two. Three. The world those are amazing again. Yeah, we are we are really good at this. Right. <clears throat> the last three thousand point battle took us seven hours, so no pressure. But, and, um, I was oh, and I was playing a, a uh, faction that I knew how to points. play. Mm -hmm. So the only spellcaster I believe in my hero phase would be Belakor. I'll just double check that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get two command points, I get three. Thank you, thank you. I forgot what they did. It's just an all out attack, all out defend mainly, isn't it? Yeah, or I, I actually use them for other things as well. Okay. Like the destroying terrain mm. requires a command point, things like that. Yeah. Oh, how do I get Velcor spells up? <clears throat> you have to go into your roster, don't you? This is going to take a moment. No worries. What, what, uh, I'm just going to grab a tissue. One second. And get me one. Yeah, sure. Some had scars and some had scratches. Made me wonder about their past. As I looked around, I began to notice We were nothing like the rest Yeah, there's no way to get Bellicor spells up Right uh, Hello, welcome back I, just, I can't get my spells up on Bellicor Spells up? Yeah, in the app hmm. So you go on your army list, you click on Bellicor Yeah, it usually says spells, doesn't it? No, you've got to press the thing at the top right Yeah, I press that I'm in Bellacor now, it tells me all my abilities. Um, oh no, 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 so you go into Bellacor, don't press the thing on the top right and just scroll down. Yeah, there's nothing there. It should be spells, should artifacts, be, uh, power, null yeah, stones. None of that. Mm, strangely. You see on my little notepad on my second screen, that's where I've got all my spells listed for each character. I cannot choose artifacts of power or spells for Bellacor. I could choose them for the others. Maybe it's because he's oh. slaves to darkness, not corn. He's not my ally. Maybe that's it. And I'm just going to really quickly create a slaves to darkness army and see if it appears. I wonder. Or it's under his abilities because he has specific spells that he's not allowed to pick. Yeah, that, oh, that's probably it, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if I go into uh, Slaves of Darkness and I can see them there. And they're all fucking locked, what the descriptions are, because I don't own a Slaves of Darkness tone. <laughs> so, amazing. Use the website, that's why I do. Yeah, that's the website. What's the date? Oh, there it is. Bookmarked. You just go into your faction, don't you? Yep.
see what Don has to put up with. <laughs> yep, yep. Will it be under spell laws, do you think? Uh, if it's spells you pick, it's under spell laws. If it's spells specific to him, it's under him. Well, the spells specific to him are the one under the spell laws. He's and got all this in the up as well. Okay. He only gets to choose one and then he gets his own spells. So I need to choose one spell now and he gets it for the rest of the game. Oh, what the fucking short range though. So he's not going to be spell casting this round anyway, so we'll come back to that. <clears throat> no, I'll pick it now and then we'll come back to it. Uh... Hmm. Well, he never said what special equipment our generals have. Or, or are we just going to leave that for surprises? I left mine for surprises. Uh, I'll leave mine for surprises as well. Okay. Um, I'll pick a basic bitch one. Um, okay. I'm just going to look through my heroes, and I'm going to see if any of them can act this round in the hero phase. I believe they can. I believe. I believe. Do you believe? I don't. I believe. You believe? You believe? Do you believe? I believe. I haven't eaten yet. Right. Oh, I hate it when it's a hero phase and then you have to use an ability in your movement phase. It's fucking weird. <laughs> I'll come back to that new movement for yeah, like I'm gonna remember. <clears throat> it's only the next phase. That is true. And he gets he has to do something in his charge phase, this motherfucker. Oh oh No one with an 18 inch shirt, is there? Okay. That was a good hero face. <laughs> but we know now. We know now why you cry. It's my movement face, Dav. What's that? It's my movement phase already. It's your movement phase already? Oh, we're, well, we're going mm. like, like the clappers now, aren't we? Yeah. This is an improvement on the our hero phase in the last match roll and spellcast. Alright, uh, whip to fury at the start of your movement phase, you can pick up to D3 friendly bloodbound units and roll a dice. And that unit can run and still charge. And on a roll of a 1 oh. it takes one more of a wound. So I'm going to roll my D3. Oh, three units, let's go. And it's going to be... Um, both of these cavalry units and my Lord yep. of Corn over here. Uh, sorry, Lord okay. of Juggernaut. So they can now run and still charge. This was my like big grand plan here, by the way. I literally oh, took okay. this uh, okay. Bloodstoke unit to be able to do it. Uh, give you something to worry about on turn one was the idea. And I'm glad I rolled a three because that means I can move three units of cavalry, including my hero here. Okay, so I'm going to move my cavalry, <coughs> start the cavalry, oh yeah, mighty skull crushers, we will get a default movement of 8, so I'm going to move them 8 now in my movement phase. I'll roll the first run. That's a four. So I can move ten. Um, uh, twelve, sorry. Twelve, yeah. Eight. 
every millimeter. <laughs> and then this one, same again, I'm going to run him. Five. Thirteen. I did not get this tip online, by the way, from someone else at all. Like, this is completely my own invention. <laughs> that sounds like a guilty conference. <laughs> I wish I was the trees right now. <laughs> You're gonna think that all the time. It's like when you play Smite and you play someone else and get fucked. <laughs> oh, I wish I was this god right now. I, I have I have a brilliant strategy coming up, but I wasn't expecting it to be this fast to this side of the board. Oh. Well, you mentioned a couple of times last week that you just use all your art just to win this. <laughs> yeah, if I was playing the trees, I'd just so I take... well that you're not going to be using them. God, sorry, yeah, but they would have been Kronafi Hunters. I would have taken just mm. all Kronafi Hunters, yeah. and I'd have specced yeah. my army so they counted as battle line. Uh -huh. <laughs> all, all I'm hearing is praise for this strategy, which I most yeah. definitely invented myself. I didn't read it on a forum or anything. <laughs> I was starting to think you really read it on a forum. <laughs> you I don't know why you say uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> would I do a thing like that? I'm showing the lads if they ever get to watch this how I'm going to beat them, by the way. It's probably not a good idea. Have you got any of these beasts yet? Oh, they're shit. They're only 160 points. <clears throat> well, they're not shit, but just low cost, low high power. That's my... Uh, thing. Oh, have I got any in the... Yeah, I see what you're saying. I have got one of those in the game, yeah. Do you want a painting for me? <laughs> <laughs> it's currently sat all grey and... and is a big contributor to my box of shame because it's kind of massive. <laughs> you see, I would, but I don't have any of the right coloured paints. Oh, I'll send you those as well, don't You just said you would now, so. So, that's them all run now. I just need to um, move into my uh, other units at movement phase. So, I'm going to run every single unit, I think, now. Uh, these are all a bit slower though, so they're going to be a bit late to the, uh, to the front line. <coughs> Any of these Bogoi Fergons, all of them move at six, so I'll get that out of the way first. No, I'm running them, so I'll, I'll roll my dice, actually. That's eight. They're speeding along. Yeah. Same again, eight. Wait. No, nine. I'm not even going to measure that. Oops. Pop them a little bit further. There we go. And then we got one more. Ten. So we've got a base of six. That's probably a bit uneasier. Wait, don't back. Fucking around. So we've got 10. Because that might be a bit further, I might be able to put them beyond. Yeah, it certainly can. Pop them in front of me. Just in front of these. There we go. Then we're on to Bellacor. Well, I'm just going to keep treating the board left to right. Um, <coughs> we'll run Bellacor as well. What's his movement speed? It's got a star on it. Um, Money can fly. Yeah. Movement speed star. No, it doesn't tell me. Oh, 14. The run speed on a fly is still D6, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. I'll roll the D6. Ah. 
Amazing. He got a one. So just he tripped and fell over his own wing. And he caught himself on this building here. <laughs> right. Can't quite make it onto that platform, I don't think. Wait. 15, 15 is like... No, I can't quite make it onto that platform. You can make it onto the bridge here. Yeah, it's alright. I've been there. Bye, Bellacor. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> you think you can kill Bellacor? Yes. With all this archery here. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're just going to ignore all the cavalry that's charging straight yeah, out. You don't care about that. Everybody's going to fire Bellacor. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. And then we got. Slaughter Brutes, and look at they got a star on their movement as well. 10, not bad for a monster that's 160 points. 10 plus D6. Oh, 16, let's go. I can only cap with Battle Line, which are these cavalry, can't I? So that's a good point. I can, contest, I can contest with anything non Battle Line. Well, just ignore that. I accidentally clicked. How the fuck did this guy end up running further than all my cavalry? Because <laughs> he's amazing. He's not. He's fat. I can't fit behind this train. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, soldier. I mean, if he's too fat to fit behind the train, should he be allowed behind that? Mm. That's the real question. Yeah, that is a good question. He's just about made it there. Next one. Five. So one inch less than this guy. Oh, I'll hold this guy back here. I ain't holding nothing back. I'm going to put him over here. Leave some room for this cavalry because I'm sure they're going to roll further than these guys. They've got a base of 12 rather than 10, I think. Is it? Let's have a look. <coughs> No, they got a base of eight. That's where the monsters be moving farther because he's gone from he's gone from to ten. So eight plus d six. Thirteen. I'm upon you. I can go. No, yeah, you're not. Ominous. Turn around. And then I've just got my wee little Bloodstoker HQ at the back here. He's the one that's making them all run and charge. My plan to get myself killed is almost complete. Only uh, 80 points this guy as well to do the run and charge thing, which is kind of nice. Can we get some movement? Yeah, I, I have something similar on my Skink Star Priest. Take that to 7. Have you? It's yeah, cool. but he, he can only do it on one unit. <coughs> He could do it on That's one it. sometimes, but he does it on a D3. And then I luckily got three on my wall. Excuse me for a minute, guys. I need to go and blow my nose. I'll be back. Hello. Hello. That was a quick movement phase, wasn't it? What? 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, over to the charge phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does come straight after the movement, doesn't it? <coughs> charge 2d6. Uh, no, shooting, then charge. That's weird. 
I know, but that's the phase one. Okay. Have you got? Have you actually got anyone that can shoot? I believe not. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy then. I'll double check. <laughs> It'll take me a quick minute just to scroll down my units. No range on him. Wait, what's a blood whip? Range three inch note. Uh, Bellacore, I don't think you got ranged, have you, buddy? You do not. You are a wizard, though. You're a wizard, Harry. He's a wizard, Harry. Lord of Corn or Juggernaut. No, you're just. He's basically just a cavalry unit. <clears throat> Slaughter Brutes might. Pretty sure they have, actually. No. Wait. Ah. ah, ah, okay. He does something in the charge phase, which I've just realised. It increases the range of his charge by quite a lot in the charge phase, so we'll come back to that. Do the ugly Kurgans get a range weapon? They do not. No, <coughs> no shooting phase for Brian. <coughs> Straight into charge phase. And before I forget. I'm going to begin my charge just on the um, Slaughter Brutes at the start of the charge phase. <coughs> Wait. The unit issues the command. I'm guessing that's going to take a command point. <coughs> yes, yes. If it's an issuing a command, it's a command point. Right. You could attempt to charge with a unit with an 18 inch instead of 12, 3d6 instead of 2d6. Okay. How many command points have I got? Two. Two. Okay. And you can only use a command ability once a time. So you can't keep using the same one. Okay. In that case, I'll use it on the guy that's further away. Oh, wait. I can use the two command points once on him and then once on him, right? No. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Oh, thanks, Scott. You can use one command ability once a time. So, this so you can you, you can do different command abilities on different people, but you can't use the same one over and over okay. again. Well, ten puts him within one inch of your HQ, and I get three d six on this guy over here. Yeah. So three d six. I need ten up. I'm gonna try that now. Come on, baby. This is really important. Come on. I got 10. Uh, charged HQ. He's charged me HQ, guys. You guys, he's charged it. There we are. I'm now in the wild wood. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to teleport out of it. <laughs> <laughs> right. This guy only gets 2d6. Yeah. He's also going to charge your HQ. I think this is wise, actually. They're not that good. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll, maybe a bunch of them can do some damage. All right, so two d six, and I need I need six of up on two d six. Roll these two. Come on! Yes, I got six. I'm so lucky. This is a good start. I hope he's got low armor. He um, has got low armor. Hey, Rob. We're recording, so no personal information at this point. To me. To you. To me. To you. How are we? I'm okay. I've finished painting. Hey. Did you end up getting a spray? Someone graffitied on Rob's house this Saturday, by the way. Oh, great. <laughs> no, I haven't got the spray. I did it all with a roller. Was it actually decent graffiti, or was it just It was tag? absolutely shit. Yeah. It was shocking, send me a picture. And now I'm gonna um, charge my cavalry. Did it take long, Rob? Uh, no, I just did, you have to put three coats on it. Oh, waiting for each coat to dry. I only need to be in one inch, so I need to. I need a six hour. 
I'll drop, I'll drop you a screen share there, Rob, in case you get the urge to watch us play Warhammer. Um, six up on two dice. I made all my charge rolls, man. That was very good. Now this is a bit awkward. I'm running out of room. <laughs> I think only one of them's going to be able to hit him down right in. in oh, it doesn't matter. It matters. <laughs> it matters. It trust me, it doesn't. <laughs> Damn it. I've got these two at the back. You're going to tell me that this guy's only purpose in life is to explode and kill everybody that charges him? No, on only one of your units are going to be able to hit him. That's depressing. Uh, charging these guys now. Which I most a stretcher that I most definitely didn't get online on Reddit a few weeks ago, <laughs> and I made it myself. <laughs> and uh, charge is two d six. We begin left from right. Is this your HQ on the left here? No, my my is an HQ, but it's not my general. My general's the one on the left on the right. On the right yeah. I need a nine up to charge this guy with these and two dice. I made it. Hacks. Hacks. Yeah, I got ten. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, if you can't fit, you can't fit. <laughs> no, for sure. <laughs> You're going to be using that for sure. I would be. Also, only one of them coming to him. This is ridiculous. They're so fat! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe that I'm going to put these so hard as I can. That's what we're going to get away with there, guys. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. There you are. It's about as close as he gets, I think. But my plan was to charge a HQ of all of these. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be a thing. Hmm. <laughs> Charge the stegadol. I know. That's what you should do. I will do. Wipe out the big boys first. So, I need a nine. I was just going to move that. <laughs> I'm going to charge the good, but they're not always that good. I need a nine. I didn't get it. So ah. You guys can stay still. And this guy. No, they still have to move forward to five, don't they? No, they don't. Never mind. I'm it's, being a, it's a charge. You're good. Uh, yeah. Okay. He needs an eight. I believe. It's because I went cheering, that's why. Come on, come on, come on. Yay. Did he make it? I did. Cool, I'm spending a command point. And I'm spending it on the Stegadon. He's going to unleash hell onto your Lord of Juggernaut. I bet it is. <laughs> so I think it's 3d6 I need. And I think it is, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, okay. So I have javelins and I have my sky street bow. So we'll do the sky street bow first. Mm -hmm. So three attacks, three plus to hit, three plus to wound. Okay, okay. Two hit. Okay, starts up. Two wounds. Any rent? Yes, minus one, three damage each. Minus one rent, three damage each. Yeah. He has a save of two, which is really nice. And there's three, did you say? Yeah. Okay, so okay. You, you, you roll t uh, two dice. Two, so. two, I would two like dead. to uh, all out defend. You can't, it's a I'm charge. Not, it's not a combat base, it's that, shooting. Right. Okay, okay. Gotcha. And it's um 
Three, did you say? Sorry, again. Uh, two, two. two. You got to save with. Two at minus, minus one, one red. red. All right. Yeah, so each one does three damage. I need three ups to save these. Shouldn't be too hard. Save one, lost one. It took three damage. So you, yeah, it takes three damage. Damn. Then I've got the. What have I got? Then I've got the uh, the the not as good uh, javelins. All right. Four attacks. Four plus five plus. Good luck. Four so got got some fours there. Five to wound. No wounds. Oh, I've actually spent one of these command points, haven't I? Yes. Okay. Um so my next two units are going to charge, but they need a 12 to be in range. So it's okay. a 12 on 2d6. Might get lucky. I'm just going to try and roll that first for this. So first for these oh boy fair ones as well. No. And then again for these on the right. No. Combat phase. After... Uh, Movement, shoot, charge, combat phase, ain't it? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's put that left to right this time. So you're starting on the skink star. Star seer, star, yeah. That's right. He's only got a four up save, he's dead. <laughs> so, no, not really. Uh, it, cause not all of my cavalry can hit him. <laughs> I think factor in their size. It's a big thing, isn't it? Oh, the modification the size of them. So, how long have I got here? So, it's got a range of two inch. So, we'll see within two inch. I believe it's one or two most. He's definitely not a risker. Yeah, he's got it. That's this guy. No. So two of them can hit him. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> get the dice out. And they're attacking with their blood glaives. Um, I do believe that because they charge, they get something else as well. Just check that. Alright. After this unit makes a charge move, and because I've not entered the combat, I'm sure you can forgive. Pick an enemy model, and for each two to four, you suffer one mortal wound. For each five plus, you suffer one mortal wound. Sorry. Sorry, wait, I suffer one more move for two to four, and I suffer one more move for five plus, so why does it just... No, either, either, either. Uh, I've got to roll a dice first. Bear with me. Please. Roll a dice for each model in this unit that's within three inch, so there's only two. So I roll two dice, basically. Yeah. And on... Each two to four, you get one more wound. Each five plus, you get two more wounds. Okay. So you said one more wound on both to four. That's what was confusing me. So they're both two to four. So it's two more wounds. Which leaves him with four wounds. Yeah, they're strong. Um. So before I, I'm, I'm going to do the charge thing on every unit that made a charge before I go into doing the proper combat phase stuff. Why can't I change the wounds? Do it on my Lord of Corn and then the Slaughter Brutes as well. Glad I caught that. I don't know if my Lord of Corn and Slaughter Brutes actually get that. Yeah, the Lord of Corn does. I doubt the Slaughter Brutes do though. Oh, oh, the Lord of Corn one is nasty, dude. Lord of Corn. Have you done your wounds? Yeah, it, it wouldn't let me change the actual because he's programmed them in to do stuff. So I've changed yeah. it to on the thing. Thank you. 
he gets the same thing, the Slaughter the Clan, but it's on a on a two plus the enemy suffers three mortal wounds. Really not. He made it. So this guy. It's Hegadon. Three more always. Uh, he might actually have a ward save. Well, actually, that's a good point. Did my skink have a ward <laughs> save? Go for it, mate. We're still learning, aren't we? I'm still learning. Do, do, do. I'm still learning. Oh, if it was my turn, he would have had a ward save, but I have to do it in my hero face to Holy set it up. Holy shit. You know what's crazy? One thing that I miss with this Lord of Corn, I can re-roll all those charge rolls that I just made with that fucking Blood Stoker as well, if I want to. But I can only do that once per battle. Or once at the start of the charge phase. So all those 3d6s call get re-rolled as well using this strat. Kind of miss that. Well, that's okay. I must have made it anyway. I missed what you said, Don, sorry. Uh, still add three to the bravery character. Unstoppable. Sorry about that. Okay, so my, my skink will have a ward save, but I have to get to my hero phase before he gets it. Because it's just something I have to remember to turn on every time. Uh, the Why would you not have turn it on? Can we not just say it was turned on? Um, no, because it can only be turned on in my hero phase. Oh, in yours, okay. Yeah. Um, but then it lasts till my next hero phase. So you've so, got it basically so, at every turn except this one. Except this one, yeah. Okay. The, the only turn that you oh, needed it. Yeah, the only turn I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, uh, uh, the Stegodon takes damage as well. Yeah. So how many did he take? Three. It's a lot of corn, it's brutal, that one. <clears throat> and you do know your trees are going to see this as well. I think the trees will be better for but... Yeah. But, so um, I've got 11 out of 14 wins left on my Stegodon. Oh, oh, you're pretty tanky, isn't you? Unlike the Lord of Corn that's got 5 <laughs> out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. He's also, also in melee, every ability he has is got Rend on it. I mean, as a Stegodon, he's going to be tanky. Is that a dinosaur? Yes. <laughs> Where were yes. we? Moving left I have a right. dinosaur. Um, yes. So I get to fight back. Well, no, you haven't fought yet. <laughs> I still got to do the charge. Let me let me finish the charge thing, and then you can fight back. You finish the charge thing. Because I haven't fought yet. I ain't got into combat. Because I'm yeah. doing this is a charge thing that I'm doing, which I think I've actually finished now. Because I don't yes. know if boots get that. But I'm just gonna double check. Well, I uh, hang on. Doesn't your your one mighty skull crusher on my general get it? Where? Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So it'll just be the one. Yes. No, yes. It's the unit that causes this, not the uh, not the model. Well, yeah, it's the unit that causes it, but there's only one model in range. There's some weird shit going on at the end of the combat phase with these slaughter boots as well. They just seem to hurt everybody near them. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not worried. I actually want a mortal wound to happen on this general. I hope there's enough to kill you, so whatever your counter plan is, it doesn't fucking work, if I'm honest. That's what I'm going to go for. Okay. Oh, okay. The Slaughter Brute synergize quite well with the command points. A bit like, you know, a very command point dependent. Um, what was I doing? The charge phase on that last Blood Crusher. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, just get that back up again. Roll 1d6. Okay. I'm going to have to choose the unit that you used on, so. D6. And it's a 5, so 2 mortal wounds on that general. Yep, and I'll take those. Actually, let me just double check, I haven't got a ward save. I feel like a slam mage breach should have a ward save. <laughs> Maybe you have to take something. Uh, Master the Order of Gift from the Heavens. Oh, here we go. 
as a ward save of four plus against mortal wounds. Okay, that's that's tanky. Oh no, that's a spell. Okay. So I can't I can't use it yet because it's not been my turn to cast spells. No. But that's an amazing spell because I can cast it on anyone. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Like making your other units tanky. So it? I'll take those two wounds. Uh, yeah. Puts him on seven out of nine, which then procs the artifact I have on him, which is called a relocation orb. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he basically, he if he takes any wounds at the end of a phase, I'm assuming that's the end of your charge phase. Say, say that again, sorry. Is it the end of your charge phase? Yes. Cool. At the end of the phase that he takes wounds on, he can teleport away. Law. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He he can be set up. Uh, where, where's there? Holding within twelve inches of a friendly cosmic node, which is any of my mages or my faction piece here. Interesting, uh, like, like a phasing kind of guy, is he? Yeah. So bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Every time he takes damage, he can do that. That's cool. Isn't no, it? he 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 can do it's that like once a game. Oh. Oh, once, once again, again he gets okay. to do that. To be fair, mate, there were three three very strong units in melee. I think could have gone down. But ah, that's great. He just needs he just needs oh, to survive to the mage phase because he can cast three spells in his go. Yeah, two counts by Bellicor though, hopefully, <laughs> or, or contended at least. Um, though I think there's only one dispel. Attempts per caster, so it might only be one. No, it does say you can oh. dispel two, Bellacore. Yeah, but this guy can dispel that. three. We can get wrong to and, that. And uh, my skink star here can do two. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> Combat now, yeah? Yes. Dying left to right. I don't think there's any more to do, is so, there? Uh, yeah. so two units combat phase me on your skink stars here. And that appears to be a mighty score crusher, two of them hitting him. So I was about to do this and then I remembered all the other stuff. So I'm going to do both of their blood gleaves first, which is eight attacks at minus two round. Four ups to hit. And we've got four, five, six hits. Three up to wound. Come on. Ooh. Four. Four wounds. I think so. Four Any wounds. Ren? Minus two rend. There is two rends, so that basically makes my save six plus. One damage. No saves, four wounds. He's dead. That was fast. Yeah, he's not very strong unless he it, gets his setup. What does he do? Is he like a spell? He can yeah, he can cast two spells a turn and uh, dispel two spell things a turn. <clears throat> okay. But my, uh, I had a massive plan for him that's not going to work now. I fucked him up. There he goes. What was your mass? Well, you can tell me after if you want. Well, basically, I was hoping you'd ignore him and actually go for the skinks. Because he was going to run around the side, and then you oh. see all those reinforcements I've got I haven't bought in yet. Yeah, don't tell me he's they... the only one that can summon them and they're not coming. <laughs> no, no, he's not the only one, but he could have summoned them in your back line, was his plan. Yeah. <laughs> so so they, yeah. they all appear behind you and crush you. Oh my god, okay. That could be very useful army in certain situations, right? We need to get yes. some more people playing with us. We can do like 2v2s and stuff and that'll make the armies like really synergize really well. If you're watching it, you hear us, get your health, get your asses on here. <laughs> so from left to right, anyone else in combat? Yes, the mighty Lord of Corn. We'll start with his Wrath Forged Axe. Six attacks. <clears throat> Six attacks, three to hit. Wait, yeah, 
one, two, three, one, two. Three to wound. Oops. Three to wound. Two went through. Two at minus one rend, mate, on the my four jacks. Okay, so five to save. Oh. Two damage each. One save. Two, Two damage. damage. Yeah. And the um Puts him on nine. Okay, cocky. He um hits with his horses, brazen hooves, so they're not as good. Three ups to hit. One went through. Um three up to wound. Yeah, one to save, one damage, no rend. <coughs> so fours. Saved. Okay, okay. I get to fight back now. Oh, you're so unlucky. Right. If you did one more wound, I'd have gone down in all my stat tables. Down on your trees, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But unfortunately, you didn't. I have Sorry. one uh, command point left to spend. I'd like to all out defend. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Uh, so starting off, <coughs> let's go with my melee weapons. Getting good with so. these command points. All right. So knowing first, then. So two attacks plus three, uh, three plus three plus on my massive horns. One hit. Okay. One wound, minus one rend. One wound at minus one. Yeah. So three up. Saved. No, it went through. Okay, and it does damage. Oh, is it massive horn? Four. You're joking. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you, if you did one more wound, it would have only done three. <laughs> he's down to one wound left. And he's a big boy him as well. He's quite hard. Two saves. Yeah. Yeah. And what, how many points is he? 170, but he does the thing where you can okay, take these my, as your HQ. As my steg my staggered on is twice the points of him. Yeah, yeah. I went for the wrong HQ over here, I think. <laughs> uh, right. No, he's after dead, he's the, dead. I'll take After it. the horns, we've got the jaws. Yeah. So, uh, two attacks, three, three. Come on, don't kill him. Two hits. One wound, minus one rend, two damage. Okay. Three up to save. I was very unlucky. Come on. Yeah, I made it. Okay, so. then after the jaws, there is the crushing stomps. Attacks on the table. So I get five attacks with these. Basically costs the same as Bellicor. Uh, Three's to hit. That was a terrible roll. Three. Uh -huh. Two wounds, minus one rend. Minus one rend, sorry, three ups. It's looking dicey. Come on. And it's Come two on. damage each. How much was it? Minus uh, one rend. Minus one rend. Oh, the very point each. through. If you didn't have rend, that wouldn't have gone through. Oh, wait, I'm all out defending, bro. So you get plus one. To save? Yes. I've made it. Oh, thank Jelly God good. for that. <laughs> Jelly good. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. So, right. That's him attacking back now. Is he done? Uh, no, hang on. He's got some abilities now. Okay. Oh, no. His abilities only happen in his own turn. Right. <laughs> Yep, yeah, that's, that's, that's the fight back done. Alright. And that was end of combat, right? Yeah. Makes it my gun. These are not doing anything, are they? No. Do I get to reconcile or anything with this guy dying and this guy? Do I get to move a little? Rearrange my units or anything like that? Or no? uh, you don't have pile in because you've got nothing to pile in on. Uh, it's these. Skinks. Yeah, yeah, but you weren't in combat with them, were you? Well, I suppose no. you technically were. You're in... You're in one inch of them. I don't know how it works, mate. Let's just skip it for time if you don't know. It's fine. No worries. Uh... So that's combat and chat. Yeah, nothing more. It's over to your hero, mate. My hero phase! Let the, food the war you do begin!
Not a bad turn at all, actually. Not a bad one. Right, well, let's just, just straight away start with magic, shall we? I'll get my Bellacore guy ready to dispel. So first things first. Hold up, my... hold up, hold up. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My fault, my fault. Wait there, Dan, sorry. I forgot something. At the start of the enemy area phase, pick one enemy unit on the battlefield. On a free plus, it can't do anything for the entire turn. <clears throat> I want to do that now. Yeah, why not? Try and keep my uh, keep the health of my units up when I need it until my next turn. You might even get two turns in a row here. Right. Does the Stegadon spell cast or no? No. Right. I'm going to try this Dark Master. It's Bellacore's main thing. Um, there's no range on it. I'll just pick an enemy unit. On a free up, it cannot move, shoot, fight, use command abilities, champ prayers, or attempt to cast spells. Okay. Did you know these skinks? Do they get any red? Uh, no. What the fuck's this they priest doing there? I never saw this guy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I was hoping you didn't sort him. It looks like he's part of his fucking model because you put him like <laughs> he's standing on his. No, it's my fault. I was hoping but... you didn't spot that guy. Uh, fucker! How many points is he? About about the same as the one you've already killed. Okay. He just comes with a different loadout of spells. Yeah. Well, sorry to hold you up there, Don. I'm just I'm just thinking if it's wise to do this just now. Yeah, it is wise to do this just now, I believe. Um, can we do it once per battle, though? Can't move, shoot, fight. In that phase. In that phase. So not in the entire turn, it's just in the phase, ain't it? Yeah. And I can only do it in your hero phase as well. So it's basically just to disable. Oh, Wait, cost that's me. weird. That's so weird. Phase does mean, again, phase just means hero phase, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, because it would say turn if it was for the whole time. So or until you're all next hero phase. Okay. I use it on your uh, Star Master if he's a spellcaster. You use my Star Master alone, you can't see him, he's hiding. You don't need to. <laughs> it just says choose a unit on the battlefield, sorry. <laughs> Free up. Need it. Yeah, we did it. He cannot cast in zero phase. But I can't cannot do cast. That. Can he still use his abilities? No, he can't. He can't move, shoot, fight, use command abilities, champ res. He cannot attempt to dispel in the spells or attempt to unspine spells. But the ability I'm thinking of is just a passive. It's command abilities that he can't use. If it's not a command ability, you're good. It's not a command ability. It just says at the start of your hero phase, roll two dice for this unit. For each four plus, you receive one command point. All right. Yeah, I think you can do that because it says command abilities. It specifically says command abilities, so yeah, you can still do that. Cool. He didn't roll a four plus anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right. Now I'll actually let you have your turn. <laughs> Nice and was song. that a spell that you used, by the way? Or was it just an ability? Ability. Okay, so I can't dispel it then. No. Okay, so bang, I have two mages on the battlefield, so I get two uh, of my or celestial thingamajigs, yep. auras, whatever they are. Uh, so now my skink priest, because mm. we might as well start with the spell s spells, because... Why not? Sorry, I'm just ordering food while we play. <laughs> I'm fucking hungry. Yeah. Sorry, Rob. Are you there? Has the graffiti fully, fully covered up now? Is it all gone or you wait to see when it dries? Yeah, it could be fully gone now. That's good.
Okay, so I'm going to cast a spell onto these uh, mighty crushers over skull crushers over here. I need sixes. Um, okay, I'm ready for that because I've got some counters. I've scored. Oh. I rolled a seven. There's something like when you cast a spell on Karmic, you got it on the same roll. Uh, yeah, on a five up, they ignore it and gain a blood type point. Let me try that. No. You can cast it. Cool. Uh, you get, I've, I've cast it, you get minus one to hit until my next hero phase. Right. You might have to remind me of that. Uh -huh. I'll try and remember. Yeah, and I'll put a little marker on them so I remember as well. Right. Any more spells? No, because my main spellcaster can't cast any spells. <laughs> <laughs> and my other good spellcaster is dead. Okay. So, movement phase. Yep. Oh, how far can that skink move? I'm going to try and KFC. Because I'm a burger or something. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, that's that's the spells. end of my movement phase. <laughs> and because it's the end of my movement phase, I can bring Wait, in all my reserves. Yeah. I'm not moving anything. I'm not moving anything. I'm bringing in my reserves. That's weird. You don't want to move your skinks and tie anybody up or like that? No. Alright then. That's so strange. You'll see why in a minute. So, my reserves are all coming in on top of my slan. I really like sparkling water. You know, most people like order fizzy pops and milkshakes and stuff. I love the fizzy water. Actually, how far away from that am I? I might have just put them too close to your unit. I have. Damn it. Damn it! I can barely get anything in because of where that is. Oh, uh, so the fatness uh, works in reverse. The, fat the fatness works in reverse. They will have to come back off. They will have to come back off. Actually, no, they can come in this side, but that's not the side I want them on. <laughs> Celebrate good times. Come on. Do, 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 do. Celebrate KFC. Come on. Do, 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 do. Please sign right, into and your that, account. That leaves me one consumer. unit still in reserve. Sorry, Dan. So you still got one in reserve? Yep, because I can't fit it on in the distances I have. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, shooting phase. This is why I didn't move any of the skinks. <laughs> You can move and shoot. Yes, 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 but I don't want to. Move back away from the cavalry. No, there's no room. All right, all right, uh, all right, uh, all right. Uh, right, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. So, yep. let's get up the stats on the bow. My new monitor at half past five, apparently. So there are ten of them at one attack for... Okay, but one of them gets two, because he's the champion. I always forget to use the champions. So it's uh, this, this unit here against your mighty skull slashers there. Forced to hit. Survives to wound, because they're rubbish. One wound, no rend. One wound, no rend. Two up to save. He made it. Okay, then these ten are against them as well. Yep. Uh, 
Uh, one wound, no rend. Cool, so... Made it. Then... Da, da, da. I'm just going to do these 20 all together at Bellicor. <laughs> just give me a sec, please. Um, you might not want to join me. You might need to remember what you're putting, because I'm just putting these payment details in. Every time I alt tab into my roster, it uh, cancels. I've never done that. Oh, that was a good roll. Six. As well, I need to accept my payment. Sorry, oh, it's because I put my card in the moving list. Oh. So, you got a good roll this time of your umbrella core. Yeah, it took two units of skink shooting at him to get a good roll, but I got six hits with no rend. Right. I don't think umbrella core saves are as good as the cavalry, which pays for the shit. I figured if I order food, it gives us more time to play rather than me faffing around. Yeah. Last time I ordered from these guys, I waited and I waited about 20 minutes and I got an email that said, Oops, something went wrong, we have cancelled your order and refunded your payment. I'm like, nice. Well, this time it's going through now. I think it's because I use my credit card. Okay, anyway, back to the game. Uh, six, did you say? Yep. No rend? No rend. Let's see what Bellicor's save is. I have a feeling um, he's usually a prime target because he hasn't got that good saves. He did say goodbye, Bellicor. Uh, okay. He got. Four plus saves, oh no. Does he get any rend? Not rend. Ward. Big, no, but he ignores rend, is the thing. That's his deal. He ignores rend. Oh. Well, I don't have any anyway. So. <laughs> uh. So it'd be good against stuff like Karate and stuff, I guess. Yeah. You'd be seeing yeah, more be of him, sure, <laughs> given that. Yeah, it'll definitely be good against Karate with a minus three run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Forks to save. So I've saved three, and I've taken three damage. Uh, is it one damage each, or no? One damage each, yeah. yeah. Good job. So he's taken three wounds, and takes him down from 14 to 11. You got you got owned by a ninety point unit. I know he did. Yeah, he will have his revenge. <laughs> He's shot right, then I've got He's these. Uh, the last bit of shooting is these chameleon skinks, but they're no longer called chameleon skinks. But they blatantly are the old model of chameleon skinks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, what have we got here? They have uh, two attacks each, but there's only five of them, so it basically ends up being attack. Cheeky. Dark uh, pipes. Yeah. Oh, and uh, plus one to all the champions, so 11. Mm -hmm. Roll threes and threes. Oh, this is on your uh, your Lord on Juggernaut, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You don't like him, do you? Four wounds to save, no red. Four wounds to save. No run. On it. Oops. I'm just looking for what his bloody save is. Two up. Two up. On four, you say? Yes. Four. He's all out defending, any. No, it's your different turn. Okay. Different I turn. I got three command points, so alright. No. No. Because the command points don't reset till the turn. Oh, I got resets. you. Got you. 
So it was four with no run. Yeah. Two up to so. I miss one who's dead. <laughs> oh. I saved all of them but one. And there's one damage, right? Yep. Dismissed. Mm. Huzzah! So we've both lost a character. Yes. Crazy. Right, so that frees up my stegon on to shoot as well. Okay. And he's going to shoot at... Who is he going to shoot at? Stegadon's strong. Stegadon is very strong. Listen, <laughs> if I'm playing against a Seraphon player, and I see that now, I'm going to be going straight for it. Sorry, Luke. Right, so he basically can hit anyone, because he has a 24-inch range. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to go for your uh, mighty skull crushers over here, these ones. Roger, roger. And he needs threes to hit, threes to wound. All three hit. All three wound, minus one rend, three damage each. How many? Three. Three. Three at minus one rend. So that's three ups. Saved them all. Luckily. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That makes it my charging phase. Okay. So, how far does my... Uh, how far is that? Can I make that charge? Yeah. You it's worth the risk. Okay. I need a nine. Yeah. Because he only needs to finish within one inch, so he can technically take an inch off the base dish. Yeah. I got a seven. <laughs> he did not make it. <laughs> so, uh, sad, sad sticking on. Right, then these guys are going to try and charge your other s skull guys there. Do you know, completely uh, forgot how we score this on the objectives and stuff. I think you just have to finish there, don't you? At the end of turn five. Yeah, but I can't be on it defending it. That's right. And we gave him a two inch range, didn't we? Yeah. Steve made this battle for us, Richard's brother. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. So I need a six on these ones. And I got a seven, so they make it. I want to take these horrible markers off. There we go. That's better. They made it, did they? Getting stuck on that bush. I was just going to say, if you made seven, you could probably move them a bit further, so you like surround them or not. Don't forget that unit's got minus one to hit this time. Okay. Because of the only spell I managed. Oh yeah, I pulled off a spell, I forgot to give myself a point for it. kind of gutted that this guy got to teleport away. That's I fine. know, right? It's so good. <laughs> yeah, he'd have gone down for sure here. Yeah. Oh, he would. He's, he's really weak in melee. Yeah. <laughs> he's a make. Uh, right, who else wants to charge? Bellacord is... He wants to charge that guy. <laughs> Can I charge Bellacord right now? Would you mind? <laughs> no, I would mind. I would mind. Um, Just while you're doing that, I'll get a quick glass of water. I'll be back in a minute. Think, let me, I'm gonna, uh, it's a risky charge on the Crocs, of course. I need to pee as well. I'll let you do your charge. I need a 10. Right back. Feel free to entertain our viewers. <laughs> I'm surprised he did not take his mic into the toilet with him so you could hear him pee. That is what he'd normally do. <laughs> it sounds like he's lost because he's got closer and further away again.
just quickly when we go back we'll have to intermission for food if that's quick that's, that's okay i do like a 20 minute yeah break, yeah no so. worries no worries um so that's my charge phase on an hour. okay it is combat phase now 20 minutes to half an hour over here which would be my sorious warriors versus your skull crusher Just give me through my units to see if there's anything I do at the beginning of the combat phase. Usually, at the beginning of your combat phase, probably not, but sometimes there is weird shit like that going on. Always staggers me a bit when that happens. Right, so I have tax two on one, two, three, four guy. Uh, three's to hit. Yep. Yeah. You don't need to hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Two wounds. Okay. Minus one rend. Alright, two wounds, minus one rend. On my mighty skull crushers. Yes. Two at minus one rend. Three ups to sec. Yep. You failed one. How much damage? Uh, one damage. One damage. On the nearest one here. Yeah. One damage. And then I have my jaws because I get to bite you all. Okay. And that is one, two, three, four. He's can bite you. Biting my yes. leg. Leg. Biting my leg. So ba ba basically, I, I roll dices, and if I get a six, which I then I'll <laughs> done a mortal void. All right then. I fight you back now. You may fight me back now. This guy can't hit through walls. <laughs> There's a wall blocking him. He's not going to hit you. <laughs> right, um, we can try. You can like sort of headbutt the wall, punch the wall. You know, get angry. Don't get me tempted. You know, I'll try it. Um, I'm just checking how many are in range. So one, two. So it's two inch range. Well, not quite. So we've got these two here. Yeah. This guy can only hit two. This guy can hit all these. I'm assuming. Yeah. He can hit four, he can hit two. Yeah, maybe even five. Yeah, five. Okay. Because it might come to it. They, they, they're strong, they're strong. They're 100 and odd points <laughs> each. 150 yeah. points. Reach no, is about the same as that. 210. Yeah. 210, so that's more than that entire unit. Yeah, they, they're a force to be reckoned with. I don't know where I've been like giving the game away by not using these the entire time. Five, they are they are feeling six, like your version of Kronofi Hunters to be honest. Eight. Except their own horses and come on really no, far. <laughs> yeah. But the Kronofi Hunters can stop you moving and stuff like that with their and stomp you with their abilities, so eight attacks. I'm gonna start with the encircled axes. Plus three to hit. So that's five. To wound. Three ups to wound. So that's three. To save. Oh, minus don't two. They, got, they had minus one to hit, don't forget. What does that oh, take it off? Of your hit roll. Hold on. Sorry, how many how many got three? Wait. Oh I can't do the last roll thing. One one went through at minus two and wait, I've lost myself. You fucking staggered me with that Dan, I hate you. <laughs> um it's, uh, I don't know. Just I don't even know what's happened now. I don't know what's hit you or just, anything. Just either roll back your uh It doesn't let you. No no no, you're recording. Right, 
we'll do that and uh yeah i'm gonna have to stop recording to do that though hold on let me do that now intermission yeah so here's what we did uh i should not have hit with this three here so what we're doing is we're going back we're saying that i've hit with four and we're going from there here we go so four of hit and to wound let me just get this up this wound is three plus so three went through at minus two rend minus two rend so i basically have sixes to save whoa Three, you say? Yeah. Three at minus two, run. No saves? One damage. One damage each, so... One dies. And one takes one wound. Alright, and we're good to go. La la la. Cool, uh, that is the end of combat, so that is the end of my go, so let's roll to see who's got it. I hope it's, uh, just like you do, I hope it's my go first. Well, I rolled a 1, so it's probably going to be oh, your go first. Okay, does that mean I get two goes in a row? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Reset the command points, I get three, you get two, or vice versa? Uh, you're going first, so you get two, I get three. Okie dokie. We begin now with the hero phase. Now, this Bloodstoker cannot make anyone uh, run and charge, apart from this guy here, because they're not close enough. Well, he can't okay. run and charge anyway because he's in combat. <laughs> well, this one can. And this yeah. one could, but he's too far away. So, it's alright. I'm verbalising my thought process. Left to right then, hero phase. Hero phase. Left to right. Uh, that doesn't even pop until the moment phase, I remember that now. So we'll go straight to... I can't use the dead lord of juggernaut, so we'll go straight to dire claw spell casting. This should be interesting. I did pick a spell, but I've forgotten what it was, because of my other tab. What's the range on this? 12 inch. Is there anything within 12 inch above 4 even? I think there is. I think uh, this unit of skinks are. But I don't think the staggered on. Oh, there is. is. Only just. Yeah, 11.1. <laughs> this has got to be other stuff that he does. So I'm going to try and cast that first. Um, so would you like to try and dispel me? Yes, well you've got to cast it before I can dispel it. Cause I need to know what... uh, casting value of 3. Yeah, but you have to roll. Cause yeah, I, I know. Higher than you. <laughs> what is it? What is, is it 1d6? It's 2d6 for a spell. Six. Oh, I, got, I get 3 at least. Come on. 9? Nine. 9. What is it, by the way? What am I trying to dispel? It's called Split Tongue Curse. If successful, a Stegodon takes three more wounds. Okay, so the... Uh, the Wait, spell. this sucks. This sucks. If unsuccessful, I take three more wounds. <laughs> <laughs> that includes dispelling. Oh, does it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll dispel with the Slad Master then, because then he's got more of a chance mm -hmm. to dispel. Mm-hmm. I did not read that last line. I could have. <laughs> that's why it's powerful. Three water wounds is a big spell, isn't it? That's, that's a lot. It's yeah. It's balanced. Yeah. That. Okay. So you got a. On uh, by right, me. So, yeah. Hang on. At nine. 
Okay, so I get plus one to unbinding if I use the slam. So you need so an I'm eight up. Him. Yeah. And I got a nine. <laughs> that is that is wounding, that is no pun intended. Hey, so I, t I get an extra point of my faction points for that, for dispelling a spell. And uh, you take three more wounds, is that right? Amazing. Alright. I'll cast my next spell. Let's see if I cool. can hurt myself even more. <laughs> That's the trouble with some of Korn's spells, man. <laughs> Korn and uh, Chaos spells in general, like, there is chances of them backfiring. Oh! Can we break? My KFC is here. Just give me a second, I'll yep, come no talk to you. We're going to take a break right now, we're going to take a break right now, we're going to stop the recording, see you in a moment. There we go, recording restarted, Brian has a KFC down in his tummy. And uh, I think we've just done some spell casting on Bellacor yeah, and he hurt got, himself. Yeah, he's got one more spell to do, I think you said. Oh, thanks for that, yeah. KFC was nice, I had a Zinger Burger, chips. The chips used to be awful, but for some reason they're really nice now. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's put two back in. His next spell is on his uh, roster. Sorry. It's called Enfeeble. I think it's got some crowd control going on. Alright. He's casting Enfeeble on the same target, the Stegadon. Okay. There's a casting value of six. Let's roll this shit. So he's rolled an 8, so to dispel you need 9. Yes, well I need an 8, because I get plus 1 for the slam master. You can only dispel once. I can dispel 3 times. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Sorry. Wait, why did I think you... I thought you can only attempt to dispel one spell once per caster. Or you yeah, yeah. You can dispel 3 but times, but it has to be spread across, no? Yeah, but it's a different spell, and it's, it doesn't have to be... It's, he can dispel 3 different spells. Gotcha, okay. So he, he couldn't attempt, if he failed that other one, he couldn't attempt to re gotcha. redo it again. But he can he can do a different spell. He rolled a six, so he did not manage to dispel it. These motherfuckers brought me still water instead of sparkling, are you kidding? Sorry. Could have got that from the tap. Can you send me up a sparkling water tap? That'd be nice. Uh, is there, th is there such a thing? Yeah, yeah. Is it cheap? Can we do it? No. Soon? Can we do it soon? <laughs> okay. Never mind then. All right. Uh, basically, is subtracting one from wound rolls until my next hero face. Okay. You're gonna have to remember that. <laughs> it's my it's my advantage. But you're the one that's gonna have to remember it. Um. <clears throat> That's got spell casting done. The great thing about losing your heroes is you don't have to do anything in the hero phase. So now the Lord of Corn is gone. I don't have to think about that anymore. Checking for abilities. You said something about a battle truck? A battle truck test? You have to make a roll because someone died or something? Oh yeah, I was meant to do that last guy, wasn't I? For the Saurus Warriors. Yeah. Can we remember how to do battle shot tests? I'll get the thing up. What are you eating? Is it nice? Toblerone. Ah. Uh, okay. So yes. I've been watching Bojack Horseman. Yes. Uh. Battle shock. Is it one d six? No, but if you fail, battle gets a heal d three. 
on the wrong thing. I don't know what. I'll be on the core rules, will it? Yeah. Well, the dice and have the number of the models in the unit that were slain to it. So 1d6 plus models. If you roll greater than that, then you failed. Okay, well that was fairly easy, because even if I rolled a 6 or plus 1, because <laughs> only one model died, I was nowhere near. Okay. I rolled one dice, there you go. And just FYI for each point that you failed by one model in that unit, please. Yep. I remembered that bit. <laughs> And Bellacore gets to heal D3. <laughs> Isn't that only if he's in range of it? 12 inch. Yeah, he's nowhere near that fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he might think he is, though. I mean, look at placebo. He might, maybe you can heal him 1 instead of 1 D3. Placebo works, guys. Next, we're on to uh, movement it's, phase. Uh, movement phase for you, yeah. I'll be right back. Start your movement phase, choose one D3 units. Well, I can only choose one because there's only one in range. This unit can run and charge still. The skull crushers at the back here. We're on turn two now, aren't we? Yes. Tulbaroon. Tulbaroon. So he run one. That puts his movement up to nine. Tolberon, Tolberon. Uh, he's made his run. Uh, he's only got to charge one inch to be fighting the Stegodon. Um, so as long as I don't get a double one, which I did not. We charge. Uh, it charge phase is over phase. Don't forget. Oh, for God's sake! Yes. So it's not thanks, Dan. Thanks. Yeah. Wait for that. I'll redo this at the charge phase. And uh, any more movement? Yes. And I run the blood, blood cipher. Uh, so that takes him to seven. I need more units to die so the turns get quicker, bro. <laughs> well, I haven't even got all my units on the board yet. Actually, let me let me roll the d3 for that, because. He can make, probably make himself charge as well. Yeah. So he can still charge as well. I don't even know. No, did I roll his run? Fuck. Never no. mind. I did not? Okay. I'll roll his no. run. Yes. Five. Oh my gosh, there is like the, uh, Sorry. Th there's markers for all this. If you oh, look what? in your, uh, over on your side, infinite to bag tokens. Yeah. If you right click it and click search, you have all the different markers for like telling you who's got a ward save, who's, who's got a uh, run and charge. Oh really? Who's got plus one to save, plus one to attack, oh, over plus here. one to wound. Yeah. What am I? So, in the bag? In the bag, right click it, click search. So you can put these down, on the things that get buffs and stuff. Well, why don't we use one on the uh, guy that I've nerfed here? You've already done it, haven't yeah. you? It's a minus one wound, isn't it? Uh, well, minus one to hit rolls. Minus one to hit rolls. Yeah, I'll double check that now, actually. Because you said wound rolls before. 
Oh, if I said Wound Rose before, it's definitely Wound Rose. They, they only seem to have plus to hit. They don't seem to have points. minus. Uh. <clears throat> yeah, Wound Rose. Minus one to Wound Rose. Well, you could just take a marker and rename it. If, if you can't see what... I'm helping you look. I bet you can type in Wound in here, though, and it'll come up. No, apparently not. I've got a little blue mark on there to remind me anyway. It would just be nice if that. I bet you could rename the blue marker even. Right click, rename here. I'm doing it now. Minus one wound. Roz. There we go. That's a very good idea. I'll be using that as well, Dan. Yeah. So moving left to right. Uh, no movement for him. He's moved. He's moved. Just charging to do for those. Uh, movement for Bellacor. Uh, okay. 16 on Bellacar, I think. Is he going to fly? Oh, he's injured, so it goes down. Shit. Wound suffered. 6. Movement goes down from 14 to 12. As does some of his damage. Twelve. Twelve. Well, let's see where his run roll is first. No, because he's not going to be able to charge if he runs because he hasn't got the buff from this guy. So I will just run him. You can't run then charge. You can only move then charge. So yes. <coughs> his moves twelve, so it should be fine. Yeah, I was wondering whether to run past him though, but I can't. I can't because I'd have to, I'd have to stop here and then run, and it's not the big run. then charge. Sorry, but I think the more guaranteed option would be going for the Stegodon person, or maybe the little priest that keeps hiding here and I keep forgetting about. No, there's no priest there. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you leave my little priest alone. So I think as long as it doesn't roll a double one, the Stegodon's a fair charge. These can only move five, so they'll be there sometime between now and my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run them individually. There's three units of Ogroid, Ogroid that might never see the light of day, though. The first one runs two, so seven. I think they're just going to play him for the nearest object too, with it being five turns. In the centre one there. Kill everyone on the middle. Uh, over his battle line as well. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. I re rolled my bump. <laughs> my old droids is on the dice. <laughs> Good they're job. not battle line, no, unfortunately, mate. Unfortunately for me. So they're going to be the ones doing the killing. They can contest, though. So you don't count as capping one if. Well, no. I, I, the so way we played it before, I don't need to cap, and I can't recap once you've capped. Okay. But you can only cap with battle line. Yeah. This is true. Final roll. <coughs> We're running. Two, six, seven. I don't think we can see the pheridons this round, if I'm honest. Charge! Or don't, because you've run, you can't charge. Slaughter brute was 10 base. <coughs> Look at how many attacks they get. Would they be able to take down the archers quicker? Are they going to be better fighting a bigger unit? <clears throat> no, they're good. They're good for dealing out damage against stuff like that. 10 base.
freaking huge these things. Ugh. Sorry. It's a bit wonky. So, so if you kill the, the skinks, then you've capped that. Yeah. <clears throat> then I can move more central. After and ignore it. Yeah. I don't know what the lore would be in that. Like the story. Maybe I captured something that was necessary on this monument, like some artifact or something. Claimed it. And then moved on. Don't need to do anything about it anymore. <clears throat> that I desecrate the monument, and then yeah. the monument's been desecrated, so it no longer gives uh, Seraphon the forward camp buffs that they get. I don't know something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> You've desecrated a piece of fallen star that was vital to the religion of, the, of you got my, it. my people. There we go. Welcome to the mind of Dan. It's a bit like a maze at times. It always gets there. And then we got. All the but that's just made me really mad that you've just desecrated that, so I'm gonna fuck <laughs> you up now. Give you a real life buff to like concentrate hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's okay. You say I need to kill these, but actually, uh, uh no, well, you did just move them. the thing, so I think I did, didn't I? I'm sorry about yeah. that. They were within two inches of it because I yeah, set them up. It was, it was like kind of, of yeah, it was two inches. Yeah, it was, it was about Let's just say, if, if we put yeah. the grid back on, it was on the grid line. I agree. Sorry about that. I wasn't trying to. Yeah. There's no, there's no ill intent. I just get a bit wobbly. Right. I'm tempted to just fucking destroy the scenery so these things can actually move. <laughs> Monstrous charges <laughs> and shit. These get don't they? They can just do that shit. Okay. How does that work, actually? I am, I'm going to go ahead and, and have a look at that. What, destroy scenery? Yeah, we, we did it once. Oh, it's, I don't know it's time, but it's... It is uh, Smash to Rubble, it's called. Smash. It's in a charge phase ability. Smash to Rubble. Oh, sorry. I yeah. got it. Yeah, at the end of the charge phase. You can do it. Is it charge phase, is it? Monstrous run phase? Yes. At the end of the charge phase. You carry it out, and it's treated like an ability for rules purposes. Yo, they get other stuff as well. Yeah. I can roar, and then you can't get any command points. I can stomp, and then your unit uh, suffers D3 mortal wounds. I can do a titanic duel, if you've got another monster near me, and then I get more hits against that. And then I get a smashed rubble as well. Okay, today I learned. You see, guys? You take a minute to have a look at the rules, and you learn new things. <laughs> I'm assuming if I was to raw stomp Titanic Jewel or Smash to Rubble, it takes you, a command point. Y yes. As uh, a page. It carries out. No, 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 no. Weirdly, it doesn't anymore. It used to take a, a rampage. In the newest edition, it no longer does no, take command points today. You can carry out a maximum of four rampages per turn. That's all your yeah, monsters. Yeah, but only guys. one per monster. All your monsters can do that. Yeah, makes sense. So my Stegodon can do that as well, by the way. If you think on, and you're feeling generous, remind me. I'm aware that you've just had something desecrated, so you might not be inclined to do this. Remind me of this at the end of my charge phase. <laughs> and your Stegodon can do this stuff too, yeah? Yeah, it's a monster. You go Titanic Jewel with your Stegodon. Uh, bring it on, bitch! So that's my movement phase into the shooting phase. That's my shooting phase into Good the... Good <laughs> It's a charge no, no, I think someone gets a blood whip. Is that not a melee weapon just from a longer range? You can double check on that. Indeed, indeed. None of these get missile attacks, do they? I've already checked this, but. FCD. 
You said no last time. Okay. Well, there's no. I like that. Right. So there's the charging face. At the end of it, I need to do something with my solar groups. I don't know if I should try the um, 3D6 charge roll on the Stegodon with this motherfucker. Looks a little tight here though, I don't even know if I'd fit them in. Probably not, I don't think it'd fit. <laughs> it's too fat. Yeah. But them crocs of are looking dangerous there. Look at them. Yeah, that's it. Alright, we'll start left to right with charge phase. <coughs> These guys are already in combat so they don't get one. Um, Bloodstoker. Bloodstoker, so it's 2d6 for charge. Hmm. Is that orange? Yep. Bloodstoker to finish within one inch of him. Finish the check. Not quite. You need a five. I'd need a it's six point one. So I'd need a six, annoyingly. And no, it's touching a no, six. It's a five. It's a five. Yeah. <coughs> Doing it. No, no dice. <laughs> Just roll a four. I did. You like that? <laughs> And these guys, as long as they don't get a double one, they're golden. Double one, double one, double one. It's a double six. Awesome. I'm going to spend a command point and unleash hell. Using my Stegadon. I'm just going to park in there like parallel, <laughs> parallel parking. <laughs> I'm going to watch the, uh, the room that we've got here. Freeze to hit. Freeze to wound. Two wounds at minus. Uh, what was it? Minus one rend. Alright, three ups. Failed one. Three damage. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, then I've got my other bits that aren't as good. Uh, four ups and five to wound. Five to wound. Nasty, nasty. Two wounds, no rend. Two wounds, no rend, you say? Yeah. You know the three damage thing? I, yeah. I um, is it a spell or an ability? A spell? It's no. a, it's a, it's a bow. It's, oh, okay. a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a ranged weapon. Right. Right, right, right. Um, there, there is something I need to do after this unit makes charge mode, which we've not quite done yet. But uh, you did this kind of thing, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, um, two. You save two, no rend. Two, no rend, so um, two ups to save. Made it. Yeah. I've been doing that as three up to save because it's a two plus save because it's got a plus button on it, so it should be two ups. I think I've done one one or two where, it's, where I've looked for threes instead of twos, but it's actually twos I'm looking for. That's crazy. No, 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 it's because I was hitting you with rend before. I wasn't hitting you with rend on that. Set of weapons. After this unit makes a charge move, sorry, pick one enemy unit <coughs> and roll a dice. Roll a dice for each model in this unit that is within three inch of that enemy unit. Oh, so I get three because there's three models. Get in. For each two to four, it's one mortal wound. For each five plus, it's two mortal wounds. 
Oh my god. Two ones, bro. <laughs> you lucky sod. Uh, one so, more wound. One more wound on my stegonal? Yeah. That's so unfortunate, bro. As long as Belakor doesn't get a double one, he's in uh, thingy range. Double one, double one, double one. Last time you did this, I got a double six. Oh. Not very good. I'm right in saying that, isn't it? The double one's always a fail. Yes. He's not, um, he's not bothered about your priest. He's just gonna put he's, not, he's not bothered about the priest. I like how your priest can like the, disobeys all the laws of physics and stands on this guy's base with his little <laughs> cohort. Uh, he that. He's, he, he'll be riding him next. <laughs> I'm charging on the this slaughter brute guy as long as he doesn't get a double one. Who's he charging? The skinks or the, the, the skinks? Cops? He didn't get a double one. Combat with the skinks. So it's parallel parked. It's fine. It's parallel parked, but he's in combat with the skinks. Okay. Um, same with this one as well. Yeah. He's also in combat with the skinks. He doesn't get a double one. He didn't. Just parallel parking. I'm gonna put it like parallel to this guy. <laughs> Here come the boys. Now, um, we've got a charge on the mighty skull crushers. That's 2d6. Going for the wasp bond. Roll this. That's a 6. I think that's good. You're going for the croxigles? With the cover, yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Look at all that lovely rend they have. Well, that's where they need to go. I'm going to be fighting them at some point, we're only on turn two. <laughs> Everything's got to go. He's not going to fit. But I'm pretty sure if I parallel park this guy, he could probably hit one of them. Probably not, actually. I think they only hit this one. Yeah, they've got the bigger bases. Fatty, fatty slaughter boots, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm actually using them to tie you up. <laughs> I'm just gonna block. I'm not even gonna attack people. I'm just leaving things in the way. To stay in my way. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wipe out some of the scenery, honestly, because there's so many big models here that need to. <laughs> I'll do that now. It's end of charge phase, so I can use my monstrous rampages. Yes. Uh, the thing is, if I decide to kill the scenery, I'm not gonna be inflicting the D3. How many minutes do I get to use? One. Monstrous Rampage for each friendly monster. So I get one of these at the end of every charge phase. Yes, I choose. but hang on. You cannot carry that with the same one more than one per phase. Yes, so you can use each one once. Ah, good, good. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah, yeah. This one's gonna smash to rubble this terrain here. Yeah, smash it! It works on a, three, it. on a 3 plus. If it was defensible, it doesn't look defensible to me. It, it, it That one's defensible because you can shoot through the windows and you count as in cover and stuff. Thank you, Dan. So I need a 3 plus. 3 plus on what? On 1d6. Oh. Not an easy roll. Let's try. He did it. There we go. Oh, that was satisfying. <laughs> it's actually satisfying to know that you can do that with monsters. But your Stegadon could do this too. Yeah. And the other one gets to go. This one here. What does he want to do? Corn just got stronger knowing about this. Much, much stronger. Disney's got a little bit stronger. They don't use as many uh, monsters as Corn in my setup. But. Chaos in general have a lot of monsters, so I'm quite happy about this. 
And I hope the boys, if they watch, are paying attention because you've got monsters who can do this cool shit. It's really good. And he's just going to have to stomp this one, I think. This guy. So he's going to stomp these guys and cause um, D3 mortal wounds on a 2 plus. You did it just. <laughs> So D3 mortal wounds to these skinks over here. Okay, so roll D3. Oh, I forgot the D3. Come on, give me a six or a five. Yeah, it was a five. Three wounds. But three, so three skinks died. E. Anything else at the end of the charge phase? I think, uh, I think there's something going on with the skull crushers. So I've just done it to the other one, and I? I've done it to, the, to this guy. But I've not done it yet to the wasp one. <coughs> Murderous charge for each model within three inch of the enemy unit. There's one unit, can't do it to these as well. I won't do it to this guy because I think there's only two within three inch. Is he in three inch? Yeah, he's in. Not quite, but these two are. So for each model, it's a d6. Yeah, that's two. Show them. And for it, yep, so we got one mortal wound there. And that's a five plus, so two there. Three mortal wounds to your wasp. So the wars? The I, believe, I believe they actually have a ward, so let me, let me just double check. If it's listed in their stats that I'm hovering over, as they have them in this one, I don't think. Uh, no, it's an ability. Oh yeah. Oh damn it. There is uh I ignore me through it. My brain went somewhere. Oh no again it's one I have to activate. Why give a ward save if you have to activate it? You might as well just leave it on all the time. Yeah. Alright, uh so he takes what, three wounds? Yeah, free mate. Yeah, yeah. So that one has one wound left, and the other two still have four. I'm really enjoying this though, thank you. Like me Warhammer, I know you do too. Yes, I do love a bit of Warhammer. Though I am wishing I was playing the tree, so it'd be going a lot quicker for us. I don't want to get Stockholm Syndrome with this OP roster that I've definitely made myself and got no help online from at all. I 100% want to play this roster again, but with my tree roster. You're on, you're on. You will see nearly every form of this now. You know, like, you, there's units that you should be using in your faction all the time if you want to win. Yeah, no, Here's you one. know how... <laughs> Bell <Bella's laughs> one. These are one. Yeah, go on. I know how... You know how I always play the one where I get the extra dice to cast spells? Yeah. On my on my trees. I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna do the one where my cro my uh my uh Kronarfi counters battle line. <laughs> so I'll just take shit loads of Yeah, Kronarfi. we're gonna see that from you now, aren't we? Yeah. I remember that. I remember you saying about that. No no more of these tree revenants or dryads or Kronarfi hunters. <laughs> Some of the well, battle lines really it. suck, and having to take them is a big setback in it. Yeah, yeah. Especially, like, the Blood Warriors on Corn, not bad, but uh, for an extra uh, 60 points rather than another squadron of Blood Warriors, I could have these Skull Crusher bad boys. They're fast, they run, they've got better saves, more attack. Well, it, it's like the army I'm using now. These these units of skinks I've got, they're 90 points a unit. And battle they're my battle line. Yeah. Uh, and how much is, like, your OP ones? I bet they're only well, like okay, double, and then you can get something yeah. more than double. Yeah, has, more than double. Yeah, it has a ward save and everything. <laughs> so. Value for money in it. These might have a similar thing if we look through the. Yeah, I didn't have the time to do no. that. No, well, well done for picking a new faction than that. <clears throat> well, I had a big plan of the the teleporting all my reinforcements behind you, but it didn't pay off, unfortunately. <laughs> this is my training for tabletop as well, ain't it, Dan? Yep. Yep. You fight my uh, corner. So, combat phase starting left to right. Yes. <clears throat> Against your. Are you impressed at how uh, like, on the ball I am this week compared to our last two and Yes, yes, point? I am. I am. Uh, take a moment for that. <laughs> you, you've clearly not read a website. 
I was referring to like concentration levels and like not stalling actually, but yeah, that as well. I've most definitely not taken any tips online about how to build <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Just pointing that out. I won't do such a thing. Oh, so I'm going to begin with my circle axes. Free yeah, range. Yeah. This guy with free range this motherfucker. Yes, yes he is. And his model can see. I'm going to do his attack separately because if that guy dies, he can't do it anymore. So I'm going to start with his. So I'm just going to do his four attacks. Why not? And then I'll move this to the other one. So I'm pretty sure these four will kill that one guy. That one model. Four ups to hit. Alright, I'll be trying that because I only. <laughs> <laughs> Three up to wound. Oh. Hey! Well, good job, buddy. Good <laughs> job. Good <laughs> no, job. Way to go, this. little buddy. <laughs> Alright. Encircled axes. Eight attacks. Three ups to hit. Uh, all out attack on this one. Um, <laughs> this is. Yeah. Okay. So three ups to hit. We got four, five. Yep. That all attack was a waste because I didn't roll anything. Yeah. So five. Three ups to wound. Three. Me rend? Minus two rend. So save three at minus two. Rend. Two saves. One wound. How much damage? Just one damage, right? I guess you kill one unit. Oh, that's so good. One model. And then we've got the brazen hooves. These are not as good. Uh, if I all attack, it changes my to hit, doesn't it? Yeah, plus one. It's two up to hit. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's quite a lot. Right, seven. Well, three up to wound. Four. Say four. No rend. Four, no rend. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> four to save. Oh really? All three? Oh well, one saved. One saved. So three wounds. Uh, one wound each. Yeah. And uh, your turn to attack back. Yeah. So this one died. And that one has one wound left. While you're getting their attacks in, Dan, I'm just getting a glass of water. No, I'm not. There's one right here. Oh, Get there. Oh yeah. Don't have to move. Oh. I think I can only attack with two now. Oh no, I can still attack with three. Cool. And do, 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 threes. Three to save, minus one rent. Okay. Oh, if these get a ward save. Uh what? Oh, it's only by spells. Never mind. So three to save minus one rend. So yep. I need three ups. Missed one. How much damage? Uh, I believe it's just one. Yeah, just one damage. Okay. So that guy's down to three. It certainly is. Okay, I lost one model, so I have to take a break. Okay. Pass it. Literally doesn't matter what I roll. It's plus one. It's seven. I need. To, I have eight. Oh yeah. Cool. 
uh, from left to right, Bloodstoker doesn't get a combat, he's not there. Um, these guys <coughs> on the Stegodon, may they hit well and not take too much damage when they attack back. I've got a minus one uh, on, on wounds. How do we resolve the attack backs? Because there's two units here. I do all so my attacks you, you and attack, all your attack backs. And then you do attack and then I attack back. <clears throat> okay. If he dies before then, fingers crossed. Unless anyone's got like a hit last or a hit first thing. Gotcha. Alright. Now we got eight attacks. With his with their blood glaives. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my final command point. Not have any in your turn, which I'll probably regret. What did I use a command point for earlier, which was really good? Like over here near your fucking boss thing. Oh, never mind, it was to change their charges to D3 instead of D2. Okay, so I'm using that all out attack on these, so they should hit quite well here. And we got 8. 270 point unit 8 at uh, 4 ups. <coughs> Have you already used all that attack? No, you used all that defense, didn't we? No, I used all that attack, you're right. Can I not you do can't, that Yeah, twice? you can't use it twice. Roger that. Ironically, if I'd have used that, I wouldn't have mattered anyway. Uh, with this roll. So, four ups to hit. We got three, three. It might have on my hooves, actually. Can't use my hooves yet. So, three to hit. Yes. And we got three up to wound. Come on, baby. Uh, one at minus one rend, mate. At uh, minus two rend, sorry. Minus two rend on the steg. Yeah. Which I can't really mark off the top of my head. What the hell it does. It's hard for them to hit with this. With four ups, actually. That's, uh... So six plus to save. Makes them a bit more balanced. Oh, I saved! <laughs> So, brazen hooves, three attacks. Yo, hold up, hold the fuck up. It's 12 attacks with these. I've got four more on this because of another model in range. Right, it's all right. So, last model, four up to hit. Two, we got three up to wound. One went through at minus two rend. Save one at minus two rend. So I need sixes. I did not get it that time. How much damage? One. On me. Okay, so he's down to seven. And then the brazen hooves. Nine attacks at three up. Eight went through, luckily, on that one. To hit three up. On the hooves, uh, three, four, five, six, no run. Six, no run. Four. So, three went through. One run, uh, one damage. One, yes, <coughs> please. Hmm. Puts me down to four. Uh, anyone else fighting? Yeah, sorry. Combat for uh, these three over here. Uh, no, I mean, oh, Bellacor, yeah. is Bellacor going to yeah, fight yeah. or more fighting back? Bellacor, the new fight back, yeah. If I actually got my fucking Bellacor in melee range, I was worried for a bit there with all the damage he was taking. Blade of Shadows. He's taking damage, so this is reduced. Seven attacks on the Blade of Shadows. This is a good one. He's a bitch, this Bellicor. 
340 points. I'm in attacks. You did the same last time. I think you shot the shit out of him and weakened him a bit. Three ups to hit. Yeah. Because I know he's got a table. If you've got a table, it makes no sense not to do, do as much damage as you can before he gets there. That's true. Like your stegodon. <laughs> yeah. Three ups to wound. I've got three. Three to save. Mine's two rend, two damage. No save, he's dead. Yeah, well done, Belkov. Wait, I've accidentally taken my priest with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it counts. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, now you can see the priest, he's no longer hidden. I oh, know. This guy doesn't get any more attacks now, does he, even though there's other things around? No. He doesn't get to pile in with his other attacks? Uh, no, because he could pile in if he was piling on the thing he was fighting. Right. But there's no... Uh, single models can't pile in anyway, because there's nothing to pile in on. Alright. It's piling in is like bringing your back rank right. round to pile in from the side and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Good to know. Can't split your attacks if you only fight the one unit that you're yeah. in combat. Yeah, because you, you, you can't, like, finish him and then turn around and start someone else. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, you remember the time I was trying to run, like, 10 chaos spawn up the field? I was looking for, like, characters that had, like, 20 attacks and they've got to target that one forty point unit, you know? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good thing to have stuff to tie things up with, if your faction allows it. I'm gonna attack with, uh, my cavalry. Okay. And they're on the, um... Croxigars. Yeah. Right, the Croxigars, because skinks have died within range of them, get some buffs. Roger, roger. Interesting. How many models we got? Yeah, two. Uh, are they in range? How 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 big is your range? Two inch. There's two models on your Croxy goes. Yeah, top. Uh, I've got one. Yeah, they're in range of one. Yeah. yeah. That's the most I, most I can kill this turn is one model. And they get bust when things die. That's cool. Yeah. They also give buffs to, to skink. It only works Skinks. with skinks for some reason. It'd be so much oh, better if it worked okay. with the Saurus Warriors. Well, at least that's something, isn't it? Oh, we got six. Only skinks, skinks die. And then we got three up to wound. Five to save at minus two and. No saves. One damage you each. Can only reach that guy, so that guy dies. Okay, no need to do my hoover attacks then. Yeah. And then it's um. See there here you can do a piling move. And what would that achieve? It, you've killed the one guy and you're no longer in range of anyone else, but you can pile in to get back in range. To get um, so I can just basically move the unit around the other units. Uh, you you can move move the unit that's killed something. You can move it into the un into the space ah. that you've created. So now oh, yeah. now next turn you can still. So as Bella that that back one can even go around the side, so you can get three up. Oh yeah, you basically have to realign. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Um. As Belakar killed this guy, he could do the same, right? Occupy his space. No, because he's, he, he's it's it's okay. It's it's like the flow of battle. So if you've got two big units fighting each other, they can move around each other as people die. If the unit's completely dead, oh, as they die, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. It so it, it's supposed to be like dynamic so. fighting. So they're still kind of pushing each other and stuff like that. Gotcha. Onto the slaughter route, mate. Gotcha. Thanks for that. I only own one of these slaughter brutes, but with the monstrous abilities they get, it's so tempted to get another. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun, though, isn't it? So, have you yeah. been keeping track of your blood so, points? Or have you not owned any yet? I forgot. I forgot how I get them. If I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> every well, time, I, I, every time a, that's an easy one. It's every time a unit dies. So I'll just count the dead okay, units so each I, one haven't, blood type. I haven't got a dead unit. I'll, I've got one dead unit. I've got the Stegonal. Yeah, I got two. That one as well. So that's two blood types. Where do they go? Faction points. Faction points. I think there is another one. Like every time someone casts a spell or something. Or every spell that's unbound or something like that as well. I think Let's look at that now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Dan. Um, that'll be I was just looking because I've nearly got enough to start summoning things again. <laughs> now I looked at yours and you've got <laughs> enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. What would they come under? Um, uh, it'll be under faction rules. Uh, so it'll be under your faction, not core rules. I'm in the battle tome. And it'll be under. Is it battle traits, maybe? Yes. No, bat is it battle trait? No, it shouldn't be battle traits. Battle oh, traits no, that's or... just how you spend them. Yeah. Uh, but there should be a little uh, section at the beginning of that that tells you what, what, what they, how to earn them. Mm. It just says if you've got any blood types left. It'll be under, I know what it'll be under, it'll be on this website, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, mate, I'm really happy with those wars and monstrous things. They're cool. I like them. What we're looking for, uh, blood tithes, rewards of corn. No, no, no. It's it's gonna be towards the beginning. Blood blessings, no. Locus of fury, blood tithes. There they are. Each time a unit's destroyed, you get one blood tithe. Doesn't say anything about spellcasting. I think I'm mixing that up with the few spellcast at me, and I get a five plus. I get a blood tithe. To be fair, I think that's what it is. Okay. It's just when a when a unit dies. I think. Why can't it be when a model dies? Because <laughs> that would be OP. And I spend them at the end of my hero phase. Yes, yeah, so I have a very similar thing with my mine. But I get them every time I cast a spell. I get them for every mage I have, well, wizard I have alive. At ah. the start of my hero phase, I get points. For every spell I cast, I get points. And for every spell I discast, I get uh, dispel, I get points. Oh, okay. And then if I save up to 28 of them, you are fucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually the case. Are you going to leave that as a surprise? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I might not save up to 28 because that's a lot to get. <laughs> He's got one little sh gink left on the timeout because it's been saving all the time. I did that yeah, in my yeah. first Corn Games, man. I was saving up to like, summon up Demon Princes. Bloodthirster, yeah. Yeah, Bloodthirster. Right. Don't worry, so I'm here. Yeah, you going to attack these it. little skinks? I am. Yeah. Little skinkies? Now that we've resolved um, how I get my blood type part and attack the skinks. We got a uh, slaughter brute. This guy's a good value man, I keep saying it, but good value for money. Especially when they're not hurt, these have got a chart too. Just FYI. So four ups. Eight attacks, four ups. Eight attacks, four ups. I think these are good for clearing smaller units, actually. They got a lot of attacks. Four ups to hit. Um, I'm going to use a command point. I'm going to all out attack. Can't, you've already all out attacked. I've all out attacks, yeah, okay. Amazing. Um, so I'll just roll this. Four ups. That's three. Groups to wound. That's three. All three went through. So that's three at minus one rend. At minus one rend, that's three then. D three damage, sorry. D three damage. Well, yeah. D three. Three D three. Did you do the rend and saves? I didn't see you. Oh, I, I, I've got my. I've got a six save. So oh, rend, okay. There's no save. So that's three D three damage, ain't it? Yeah. Four. Four. Yeah. Four dead. 
Okay, okay. And then I'll attack with my mighty jaws if there's still any in range. It's only a one inch range on that. It's this one here. I okay, think it's so just one, one, one guy left in range you can get. Is there? Yeah. Alright, two attacks for tip. There must be something that monsters are weak to. Let's have a look. Because they they're quite cheap. Uh, four ups to hit. One went through. To wound on his mighty jaws. Oh, where's the chart? Mighty jaws. Two up to wound. Yeah, that went through. So one to save at minus. No, no rend. One to save, no rend. One to save, so I've got a six. I did not save it. Three dodge. But it's only one. Can I reach one? Yeah. So he's dead. <laughs> Alright. This guy has not attacked yet, has he? This one either. No. So he's attacking them as well. <laughs> seems oh, a bit the overkill. Poor little skink. The poor little it skink. seems a bit overkill. Uh, so what was it? Seven, I think. Yep. And razor tips, four ups. So four went through. Minus one rend. So both four dead. went through. <laughs> well, that was a quick resolution. Uh, down still. He's too big. There you go. They're massive, aren't they? They're even bigger than the bloodthirsters. Like, what is going on? Like the model itself over here, I've got on my desk, and it's uh, and it's grey and not painted. <laughs> Do you know what it looks? What I'm doing is because it looks very similar to a monster in Tizinch. Very, very similar. No, that's not it. Um, it's um, it's the Slaves of Darkness unit. So both Tizinch and Chaos Corn can use it. So it's it serves as a double purpose for two armies. So I can use it in Tizinch. I can use it in Chaos. Right, does that make it my go? Is there no more combat? Uh, we went left to right, so they've gone, they've gone, they've gone, they've gone. Uh, yeah, it does. Awesome. Yeah. Hero phase. I'm rolling 2d6 for my slams Enjoy. thing. I get one, I get an extra command point. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two wizards on the board, so I get two more faction points. We snuck that one in. Today I learned. Kill the wizards first. Yeah. Uh, spell casting. This is where we start to have fun. Because hopefully these go through. <laughs> yeah, you're fighting corn, so every time it's like, if I fire up, it doesn't go through and I get a blood time. Let's see if I can dispel as well. I'm pretty if sure there's something going first. on with, with dispelling. I think I get a blood type if I dispel as well, but I can't remember. It's fine. First things first. I'm going to cast. Da, 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 da. I'm going to cast from my spigot ink onto your uh, skull crushers over here, fighting the crocs scores. Yeah. Uh, value of six, so I need to roll over a six. I rolled a six, so it cast, but only just. I get to unbind with Bell. Yep. Why am I rolling five dice? You, you, you need a seven on two dice. <laughs> you made it. You got eight. Oh, sad. You on spell. I'm I, down I, better. I feel your pain. <laughs> it gets one more on mine. Okay, so that's the skink done. And the reason we started with the skink was because I wanted you to unbind that one. He gets so one more, bro. He gets one more. Yeah, I know, but I have three spells I can cast from this ah, one. Alright, so you're saving <laughs> your best to last. Okay, yeah. I might not unbind this one and go for the next one. No, I'll go. no, we'll see. Okay, so, first I'm going to cast. Surely you miscast one and I get to unbind the third one. Surely. Surely, surely, maybe, maybe. First I'm going to cast, where is it? Uh, I get plus one to casting. Ooh. Well, that is amazing. Uh, uh, I think uh -huh. I should have been casting that the whole game, but you stopped me casting in the beginning. Uh, mm. <laughs> so I'm going to cast onto the Skink Scar Priest. Yes. Uh, da -da -da. yes. 
cutting value of seven and I rolled a six, but I get plus one, so I just made it. Mm, I'm buying it. Seems how excited you are about this. Yeah, it gives me a plus four ward save. All right, I'm on buying it. Uh, I got six, so I did not unbind. Awesome! And that's all my unbind attempts as well, so now the next one. <laughs> okay, so the Skink Priest now has a four plus ward save. Is the best, you got your best spell coming now, have you? Uh, I've got my second best spell coming now. Because <laughs> I've still got one more after that as well. Oh, and that went through, so I get a faction point. Alright. Uh, right. Comet's cool. Here we go. It's got a casting value of seven. Comet. Comet call. I cast it. Uh, if I roll over a ten, what did I roll? I rolled a nine. Plus one is a ten. <laughs> uh -huh. I get to pick D6 enemy units anywhere on the field. So I get to pick four units. Done. Yeah. You're not yeah. casting the spell. Two faction points um, are all unbound. Two faction points are all unbound. Yeah. <laughs> so what happens if I spend faction points to auto cast? <laughs> that you, you can say you're casting a spell, and then Brian can just say you're not casting that spell. <laughs> it's a common thing, but it costs me two faction points. I always waste my faction points this way because I get scared of spells. Okay. Yeah, that was a good skill to get spared off. Because it basically was about to decimate all your units. <laughs> when you started reading the description, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> is there anything I can do? I was like looking around. Um, um, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit hasty. Maybe I should let it go through. It's a well, you can point. let it go through if you want. I'll let it go through. I'll let it go through. You'll let it go through. Okay, so I hit four units. Save the faction points. We, we can use it again later. These yeah. units have all got full health. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to hit. All three of your multi skull crusher units, and I'm gonna hit Bellacor. Okay? Uh, so Bellacor first. I don't even know what's gonna happen. I could have unbind D3 them. mortal wounds. Alright, okay. Okay. Bellacor you, takes you one mortal wound. As well. You're forgetting something as well. What? On a five up. And this this is one of the reasons I want to unbind. On a five up, these ignore and gain a tithe. Okay. Bellacor, Bellacor takes one mortal wound. Unless it's a five up, right? Oh, is it on all your units? So oh, does this no, 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 not on Bellacore, you're right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bellacore gets the one. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. It is a good spell, I'm not going to lie, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's especially if I rolled a six, because I could be destroying your entire army all the while. <laughs> oh, right, let's do this it's one really on the left spell, first. Alright, I'm going to five up so They do, hang on. He didn't make yeah. it, so you go ahead. He takes one more wound. Okay. Then we'll do this unit, middle unit. That's crazy. Uh, five up for me to get ignored. Come on! Oh, I'm not getting well with this. Okay, what's he take? One more. Uh, hang on, I've got a roll. You might he kill takes him. two more wounds. He's dead. Then the unit over here. Mm -hmm. You're going to roll your five up to see if they survive. I don't want it. Come on. No. And they take and two, two more woods. Oh, brutal. Well done, mate. Uh, that spell went through, so I get another fraction point. I honestly think with me being able to resist these spells and perhaps get a, a tithe for each time, this is like, I won't be dispelling this, you know, I'll be trying for that blood tithe. Cause, yeah. Unless it's an emergency and like these are all really injured and they're about to get wiped out or something. Sorry for the intermission. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so my final spells? spell, because yeah. I have one more, is uh, it's not as good, but it's actually kind of fun for me. Uh, it's... Who's actually in range of it? It's only got a 12 inch range. Oh, I guess they're in range. This Bloodstoker is over here. Bellica is in range. Bloodstoker, yeah, he's just in range. Oh, are they in? Yeah, they're in range. What, what model is? <laughs> Does it say fully in range? Oh, it just it says. I think it just says unit. Then you find. It just says uh, yeah. casting value at a range of 12. It doesn't say if it has to be fully in or not. No. Okay, That's so fine. I'm going to cast it on these guys. Uh, 2d6. Uh, casting value of 8? Really? It's not that good. The other one was only 7. It's so much better. <laughs> Oh, maybe no. that one's just a powerful spell. Oh, I failed to cast it anyway. Oh, you failed? Yeah, you got to get over it. Okay. 
Okay, done. Okay, done. Okay. Basically, it removes the rend from your character for a turn, oh. so they wouldn't get any rend. That's it's called mystical unforging. Uh huh. <laughs> Until the start of my next hero phase, and oh, you remove no. the rend characteristic characteristic from oh, okay. a unit. That'd be good against high rend characters like these. Yeah. Minus two. Yeah. If you class minus two, is quite high. I do. I do. I do. I mean, minus one's just like. Quite it's quite not quite Kronafi well. Hunter minus 3 minus 4 territory, but it's still... Yeah, but Kronafi Hunters, you know, you have to pay a lot for them. That's 250 points a unit. They're a little bit glass cannony as well. Like 3 up sage rather than 2 ups. That's not glass cannony, but you know what I mean. It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, so that's it's, the end it's, of my spellcasting. Yeah. Uh, which makes... It, on, do I bring in re no end of movement? I bring in my reinforcements. So movement phase. Good talk. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, do I move the skin star priest? Nah, we'll leave him there. He's fine. He's uh, he's only a well of a time. Uh. Yeah, uh, combat phase. No, shooting phase, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, Don't six. Don't forget, if ten. at the end of my turn, everything's wiped out on an objective and I have one of these skull crushers on it, yeah. then I cap it. Yes. Just bear that in mind. Have, 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 you, have you not noticed what I've noticed yet, though? You haven't capped this one yet. I ended the end of my turn. We had that discussion. I ended the end of my turn yeah. with a mighty. Yeah, but you right. ended. You ended. You ended the end of a turn with your scroll of crushes down on, here. No, it was on it. Yeah, but the skinks were still defending it. The skinks have only just died. Because the Remember? skinks are in range of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have you haven't capped it. You've okay. left it. Yeah. All right. Then. You need to go back and cap that before it counts. Yeah, I feel a bit disoriented about that. Yeah. Because the skinks were here. Yeah. And you've only just killed them with the slaughter brutes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So you, you need you need to go back and cap. I do. Yeah. Okay, so all my archers are going to shoot at these skull crushers in the middle. Yeah. It may be a waste because that save is ridiculous, but. Um, I'll out defend on that. <clears throat> Using a command point to all out defend. Uh, well, defend is to do with me, really. Actually, no, no, I think you can do it for archers as well. That's three units oh. of archers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's 33 attacks. I'll like defend then. May the plus two. But they've got no rend. <laughs> yeah. They've got no rend, and the hit to hit is like. Uh, where are we? Dot split. To hit is four. Yeah, and my save is, is uh, one up. Oh, there's no point me out defending because the save's two, right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> there's no point you out like defending. So if you roll a one anyway, it always hurts, don't it? Yeah. Hold on. Let me work this out. No, that's right. I can all out defend. Because if their save's two, it takes it down to one. Yeah, but one's it always fails. No, one's always hit. What are you talking about? If something's let me all out over defense it, is yeah. your save, yeah. Your That's save right. is two plus. And it takes it down to one. So plus. if it takes it down to one plus, but if you roll a one, it fails anyway. So there's no point all out defending. I see. I understand. Yes. Yes. It it, it would only make sense if I had any rent. I understand. Yes. No, because the way I'm seeing it now is you're going to hit me on a two up, right? No. Why would I hit you on a two up? Because my save's two up. Okay, no, so oh, your no, save would yeah, be two plus. So, okay. No, you don't you don't hurt me on a one up. Yeah. <laughs> but but one's happens. always fail, so it'd still be a two up. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I hit you with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty hang on a minute. Fourteen. Fourteen to save. Yeah. Did you roll your wounds? Yes, yes. That's fourteen to save. Uh, two ups to save. Ooh, you went through with three. Woo! Take three damage, bitch. Okie dokie.
I don't care which one takes the damage. <laughs> it only took 30 skinks to do 3 damage. Hey, if you look at it as unit costs though, like 90 points each done 3 damage, and three, 270 point units did 3 damage, it's not bad. Oh. Any more shooting? Uh, then, yes, I've got my, uh, my dark pipe dudes. Stop it. Who are also going to shoot on the same people. Again, with no rend, so kind of wasteful, but... <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't enough rend choices in this army, I feel. Yeah, can relate. Corn pretty short on the rend on stuff. Corn really needs to take advantage of the uh, Slaves to Darkness units. Because they get some rend in theirs. Especially these Ogoi Turgles, which Three. we haven't seen yet. These get rend. These are good. Uh, three to save. No rend. On on the same guys. Yeah. Sorry. Come on, roll three ones. Roll three ones. Roll three ones. Three to save. Two ups. There's no ones there. Look, I told you to roll three ones. What are you doing? <laughs> Come at me, bro. Uh, right, that's the end of my shooting phase because my stake one's dead. So, charging. Uh, I'm going to charge these Saurus Warriors into your mighty Skull Crushers. I just don't have to get double two. <laughs> I did not get double two. Awesome. charging I'm going to do. Oh shit, I forgot to bring in another one. Mind. You're going to run out of units to hurt my mighty skull crushers before they go down. <laughs> Is my hope. Well, I'm just trying to tie them up before uh, turn five. Sort of, uh, <laughs> before turn five. <laughs> and hopefully the spell that I cast every turn from now on, because you can't stop me casting in turn one. Hopefully. <laughs> I'll be able to do we'll that, kill so you need to off. be very vigilant in how you stop me from killing that guy. Uh, <laughs> so, charging, these skinks are going to charge Bellicor. Oh. <laughs> Did they get Did an ability where they can move Bellicor as well as with P for a night? Apparently so. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going to charge. Oh, God, now I'm. Now you're moving the monument. <laughs> Fuck it, just pick them up one at a time. They're charging Bellicor. Oh. Oh, monument back. I'm lock, lock it in place as well, so we stop doing that. There we go. I've locked the monuments now. They're safe. So I did it to this one as well, which kind of fucked yeah. me up because I thought the skinks weren't on it, and then you even explained that the skinks weren't on it, and I was like, ah, that's fine. In the back of my brain, I was fine with that. They cost me okay. the monuments. Uh, <laughs> I'm blaming it on that. These skinks are going to charge these multi sky crushers. Just stop them moving, basically. That's all they're charging them for. Posture check, hydration check. Uh, both poor. <laughs> Legs up in the air, haven't had a drink for an hour. <laughs> I haven't had a drink since we started. Oh, Dan, go get a drink, please. I'm gonna get one. Two six. I'm going to start hydration checking down all the time now. When we went drowning with Dan, I'm going to talk about him while he's not here. We hiked for about four hours and it was like 30 degrees. 
and when we got to the top of this hill, this like quarry hill thing, you can see it in the other video that we uploaded here on this channel. Dan got his drones out, and he was in the baking hot sun for about three hours flying these things. Felt like three hours anyway. No sun, tan lotion. Barely saw him drinking any water. So, uh, yeah, we'll hydration check him for now. <laughs> I was sat in the shade, me. I'm like a beached whale. I need so much water to function. I think Rob's just sat here listening to me talk to anybody that watches this video thinking, what the hell is Brian talking to himself for? It's like... <laughs> <laughs> You're working, bud, are you? Chilling on this uh, Sunday? I'm chilling at the moment. Uh, my, my brain's somewhat given up with me marking, so I'm just mucking about. Alright then. My new monitor is eight stops away now, apparently. Seven stops away. There's a, lot of it. back. a good chunk of the reviews. Hey, Dan. I was just telling uh, anybody that watches this uh, that I'm going to hydration check you from now on if you haven't drunk all day when you got a cold. It's your own fault. <laughs> you weren't this. Yes, Mum. Yes, Mum. <laughs> I went into a little story about when we went droning and you were just sat in the hot baking sun, like 30 degrees for about three hours, not even taking any shade, not pausing because you were droning the whole time. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I, sp I spilled the beans. <laughs> Go on then, back to your... Uh... Back to my charge ways. Yeah. Uh, these skinks are going to charge these skull crushers. How is your cold, by the way, mate? Uh, terrible. But I can speak now without sounding like Darth Vader, so that's good. That's an improvement. You were like Darth Vader last night, yes. Night before, I think one was something. Like what did you get up to yesterday? Did you play games or potter around? Potter around. Played a little bit of. Uh, what did I play? Played a couple of matches of Overwatch. Did you win? Hold in yeah. the cold, meet your lose. <laughs> we won, but nothing to do with me. Uh, uh. Right, I believe that's the end of my charge weight. Sorry, I just I just moved them and didn't roll for them. <laughs> there you go, they made it. It's fine. Okay, uh, combat face. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to pull these in at the end of the last turn. Okay. You can do it. Means I can hit more back. There we go, so oh, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, what's the range on these ones? I think the range might be two on these. What do you reckon, viewers, or viewer, if one person watches it, um, <laughs> my skull crush is going to survive as Dan focuses all his efforts on getting them down so I can't cop the objectives? Are they going to be able to tank it with their two plus saves? Or is Dan's force is going to be able to overpower them? Okay, so one inch range, so one, two, three, four, four, three, three, three can reach. And the answer to your question is I'm not going to overpower them, but I might hold them in place long enough that you can't cap anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I think the more likely outcome, like in our last match, is Brian derps and forgets to cap them and starts walking off into the sun or some <laughs> shit like that. That's the most likely outcome, right? I'll tell you that. Alright, uh, da -da -da, three pit. Like classic Brian self-deprecation. 
Go to that. Is it self-deprecation when I take the piss out of myself, or is it realism? Yes, it. Three to <laughs> Three wounds minus one run. Three to save at minus one rend on the blood crushes. Yeah. yeah. So I need three ups. Made it. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven skinks can hit you. Oh, I can't rename you skinks to skanks because it'll mess with your thing. Yes, don't. That makes me sad. Right, here we go. Force to hit. Yeah, forced wound. Five to save, no rent. Can you just do force to hit and then force to wounds and not remove any dice when you're into wound? I removed one. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry, back to that. How many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 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 And then. No rent. No rent. Five to save, no rent. So two ups. So one went through. How much damage? One. Okay, okay. okay. And that puts one model down to one health. I'm going to hit that out. Yes, you can choose. You can either hit the Soros Warriors or the Skinks. I'm going to hit the Soros Warriors. It looks like only two of my models are in range. Oh, that'll be. Eight attacks. Four ups to hit. Is it a two inch range when you're. Yes, in? yes. Yep. So we've got four ups to hit. So five. Three up to wound. So three to save. I think it's minus one run, let me double check that for you. Yeah, three to save minus two rend. Minus two run, so I need six it. One damage. I saved two. I took one. Whoa, good roll, dude. Who was injured, one I damage. believe. Where is he? Or did he already die? Oh, no, there he is. He's dead. <coughs> right, so I have to roll a test for that unit. Yep. Is that about Pass. Shot? Yeah, because they lost one model. Okay. Next combat is all these skinks versus this crusher. Okay. Bring One, two, three, four, five, six, seven can attack. He is in a unit with this one, but you killed the middle model instead. Oh, what's the distance between the models? Is it less than two inches? Yeah. Ah, uh, you're okay. You're okay. With that. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna fucking pull out every single roll to get rid of these models. Oh yeah, no. The rule, the rule is if they <laughs> split over two inches. I know. Half the tape, you have to keep removing models till it's a cohesive unit again. <laughs> removing models, yeah, oh, <laughs> so shit. I don't even have to kill, yeah, <laughs> like completely remove the model. That's something to bear in mind. 14 minute, uh, 15 oh. minute. right? Four, that sounds OP. You could potentially use that with your big spell if I've got more yeah. than two inches between seven and eight. Fours. One, two, three, four to save. No rent. 
to whoops to say made it awesome you can fight back <laughs> i don't think any of them to oh that one might be that one might be no one unit i'll fight back with this unit first four ups to hit four attacks Yep, two of those went there. Two up to wound. Both of those went through with minus two end. I think that model's dead. Uh, two to save, minus two end. Minus two rend. How many to save? Two on two. this guy. Yeah, he's dead. He only has one wound. <laughs> I'll do his attacks though. <laughs> I'll split them because he, he won't get to, get to attack with his hooves, so it's not fair. So this one, four attacks, two up to hit, uh, four up to hit, sorry, um, two went through, oops, that's two up minus one round, wait, sorry, two to wound, three ups to wound, they didn't work, no dice, that's my attack back, carry on, next combat, <laughs> Okay, next combat is the Skinks versus Spellicor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not a... Uh... One, two, three, four... Only four of them can attack him. I'm going to say that's not a terrible look, because he's, like, he's on the fault save, this guy. They might hurt him. I won't lie, they might hurt him. Four! Oh. One, two. Terrible. And then four. Two wounds, no rent. Did you battle shot these guys over here? Oh, I didn't. I'll do that now. Two wounds, no rent. They passed their battle shock. Four up to save. Okay. He saved one and took. Is it one damage? Yeah, one damage. Suck on that, Bellacor. You're getting beaten by a 90 point unit. <laughs> This 90 point unit's gonna save him, bro. If you say fail a battle shot, he gets a heal. <clears throat> I'm, They'll I'm all die before you get to battle shot. <laughs> <laughs> he dies before the battle shots. Next one. Is it you your... get to fight back. Oh, yeah. Don't kill them all, Bellacor. Save one. <laughs> save one for your heal, bro. Just use your attacks one at a time. <laughs> right, I'm on the damage table. Attacks. On my blade of shadows, first of all, I actually think they're all dead to be honest. So do I, <laughs> but they stopped him doing anything eight very attacks. briefly. Well, it's not eight attacks because how many wounds has he suffered? He's suffered a lot of wounds actually, eight wounds. Eight, uh, it's still only one down on the chart though. So seven, seven attacks. Three ups to hit. I can't see that fucking dice over there. Okay. One, two, three, four. So four went through on the blade of shadows. Wound. Three up. And that's two. Two to save down at minus two rend. Two damage each. So that's uh, four damage. Four damage, so four damage. Okay. No, it's his fell claw. Whoever designed this is an idiot. Why would I roll one attack? <laughs> Throw up to hit. And it missed. Okay. Now it's his spinning tail. One attack on this as well. Two up to hit. That hit. To wound on the spinning tail. It's two up as well. That went through. Minus three rend, two damage. So two, two damage. damage. Two more dead. Yeah. Bellicor strong. Ah, if you'd like to battle shock and fail it and give me a heal on Bellicor, that would be amazing. I'd like to pick up just one of these skinks. Why <laughs> don't you keep They're coming? Attached. <laughs> They're, this is their life now.
Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So whatever I roll plus six. Ooh, you might fail this one. But they are next to that scoop priest, so let's just make sure that he can't do anything to save me. Mm -hmm. Maybe they get his bravery because he's in HQ. I'll load up the site and help you with this. Works that way in total war, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, no, it does. It does in this as well. But I'm just checking to see because a lot of my stuff have the things that say, "Oh, if skink dies, you get this bonus," or if you're near the skinks, they get this bonus. Uh, so if it's still alive, he doesn't have it. I think it was the one that you killed had it actually. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck myself over here, uh, but in the spirit of learning Warhammer, you might want to know that if you want to, in the Battleship phase, at the start of it, you can issue a command point to not have to take Battleship tests in that phase. Should well, you hello. want to do so. And I have three command points to spend. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Uh, before making a. Uh, I like that addition. Oh shit! Sorry, I, I've just read something else that's amazing and I did not realise. <laughs> Arcane Vessel. I was looking to see whether my slam may freeze boost them. Uh, it right. doesn't. But what it can do is, you know how I can cast from, from forests as Sylvaness? So he doesn't boost them, but he can cast from somewhere else. Yeah, he can cast from other other major other wizards. So he can cast oh. a spell and measure from the star priest. All oh, right, okay. This is kind of cool. Uh, right, anyway, I'm gonna spend that command point because there's no all nothing right. to boost it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. They stay. Look, look at them brave boys. No hill for Velical. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, because they don't have to take a battleship test if they do that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and his his abilities if if they fail a battle a battleship test. Yeah, you know every turn now I'm probably spending a couple of points. Saves stop one just for that. <laughs> Even when I hit you back, you like save him every time. Yeah. Uh, right. So the Crocs Gores versus the Mighty Skull Crushers down here. Uh, only one can hit. Uh, mm -hmm. I think. What is the range on the Crocs Gores? I think it's two. Yeah, it's two. But finally, something with some rend. Oh, and they have two different weapons as well, because one of them has one and one of them has another. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the Croxagors that give the, the skinks the bonus. Oh, is it? Yeah, <laughs> weirdly, because they're not a command unit, but if the skinks are near the Croxagors, they, they, they can use the Croxagors. And what... Uh, Oh, that's the bonus they can use. Yeah, they can use the Crocs Cause Bravery instead. Yeah, bravery. Okay. I knew I'd seen it somewhere, but that is where it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, da -da -da. So, yeah. Crocs that's Cause. That's going to change how we play, isn't it? Like, Battleship yeah. is a really big thing. Like, can you imagine if, like, for example, this fucking big unit of mine here, or this big one of yours, fails a Battleship and you lose a model because of that? Like, holy shit. Crocs Cause. Yeah, so Croc scores, uh, they've got two different weapons, uh, but only one can reach, so that doesn't matter. Those faction points of yours are cocking up now, man. Yeah. Three. Three hits, three to wound. Two wounds, minus two rend. That's on the skill question again, yeah? Yeah. Two wounds at minus two rend. Forks save. Both save just, but two fours. Bastard. Bastard! Yeah. That was three damage a hit as well. Just let me know which unit the fuck did that. <laughs> that was the crux of us, and that was only one of them. Because <laughs> the other one can't reach. Christ on a stick. 
They're not going to be a walk in the park, are they? No, no, they, 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 this faction's version is the uh, of the Kronoki well, Hunters. Get but Be Bellacore over there, so that Ren doesn't matter. <laughs> right now, the Saurus Warriors: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven can attack. Plus one for the champion, there we go. Uh, freeze and three. Three hits, minus one rent. Who to save it, minus one? Is it skull crushes again? Yeah, skull crushes again. Minus one rent. Uh, I needed three ups to save, and so you take one wound. One. Yeah. Ah, one wound. Which one was it? This one. Uh, this one down here because it's from the Saurus Warriors. Okay. Oh. They don't reach that one. So it's this one. Is it? Yeah, they can't. Yeah, they can't reach one at the top. Yeah, now. split woundage. Okay, okay. I get a hit back or more to go. Yeah, you get to hit back. Are these all attack them? Yes. I will hit the uh, Coxie Boar. Why he's is not the Coxie Boar in the DC? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> but he only has four words. It's only a 170 point unit. Yeah, it's like the same cost as the Slaughter Bruce. So, I got all three models hitting him. What's his armor, please? Let's save. Uh, four plus, I believe. That's like a bit of a waste to hit him. There's someone at my door. Pause. Two minutes. That's here before 10 o'clock then. Alright, where were we? Uh, you were fighting back. Okay. I think it's uh, only one model, and I could probably hit more than that at least. And he's only got four armor. I know he hits hard, like three damage is a lot. And that was with Rend as well, wasn't it? Yeah. So I need to decide. And what are the damage on the Saurus Warriors, please? The Saurus Warriors' damage was one, they have a rend of one, but they have attacks of two. Alright. No, we'll take out a Corsagore. Or we'll attempt to. The other Croxagore has a different weapon to that one. Hmm. So only one of them gets the weapon he's using. <laughs> so the other guy only does two damage. That particular Crocs Gore does three. Alright, well, well. I got 12 attacks on my Blade Gleep thing. 12 attacks. There's someone at my door. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. That was crazy. It was the same driver that was delivering my monitor. I went back to the car. 
brought my monitor back up to the drive and then asked me for a password. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new monitor, new monitor. Yeah, it's here, mate, yeah. Yeah. Control the text at um, four ups to hit. Four ups to hit. Can't see that dice. That's three, four, five. Three ups to wound. Come on, baby. You're joking. Not a single. If you can roll like that more often, I, I'd much appreciate it. The entire unit did not even hit that one model. Well, okay. Well, they attack with their hooves as well. So at least we've got that coming for us. It's not going to kill him, I, I guarantee. But. Uh, Yeah, if you have more rolls like that, please, Brian. That, that would, uh, that would uh, make my uh, life a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I'm not happy about that, actually. Okay. There, at least there's nine hooves to attack with as well. So there is that. Sorry, three ups to hit on these. And to be fair, he's got very poor saves. These don't have a these attack, but they might go well. So that's a lot. Eight. Eight of the hooves hit with three to wound. Six. Six to save, no rend, only on the one model. Four to save. Uh, took two wounds. Two wounds. Uh... Do you have any more combat phase? Nope, that is my go over, so it's time to roll to see whose turn it is. Turn is first. This is the winning roll, by the way, whoever gets this wins. <laughs> turn three. I rolled a three. I also rolled a three. three. Let's go at the same time. Okay, my uh, <laughs> this guy's hitting his. <laughs> 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 I'm spellcasting. Like, ah, I'm spellcasting. We should try to win that one, then. Uh, <laughs> uh, we will. I got well. two. I rolled a five. God damn it. Yes! Finally! Right, first things first, roll my two dice to see if I get extra. Oh, I get two command points, you get three. Uh huh. Yep. Has any other units died? Or is it just the. Uh, got... What, complete units? Yeah. No. No. How no, many got... units in total of dice? I've lost two. I've lost. Oh, one. it's not a complete one, though. I get, no. Yes, it's just still two units so die. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to roll my two dice to see if I get four pluses. So I get one, so I get an extra command point. Nobody. Can you keep stopping all those battle shotguns? Right. Uh, my Skink Star Priest is going to try and cast a spell. He is going to. I might. I might. I might. I might, I might. Yeah, no, sod it. He's going to cast the same spells before. He's going to cast on these mighty skull crushers just in front of him here. Let me know when you're casting the big spell that affects everybody, okay? Okay, this this one is reducing your ability to hit on your skull crushers. Ability to hit? Yeah, so minus one on your hit rolls. I rolled. I hit. I cast it. I rolled an 11. Do you want to dis dispel it? No? Is that the right time to ask when to dispel, or do I have to declare it before? You, you, you declare right it after I've rolled. Yeah. yeah. So now that I've seen an 11, I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to try to dispel it. That's valid, isn't it? Okay, yeah, that's it. fine. Yeah. Right. And then I, I get a fraction point for that spell going through, and you get minus one to hit on your skull crushers. You got a blue marker for me? Uh, you got some help. You got to have a debuff. I'll rename it. Debuff. It's an infinite debuff. Is it an infinite? It actually is an infinite debuff. <laughs> uh, how do I move it? <laughs> oh, I can move it. Cool. Well, actually, that's cool because I can pull it out and I can just pull them out when I need them. That's perfect. Okay, they're debuff. So keep that there. We know what it is. Next, I am going to do my, the first of my slam spells. Right, you're just gonna save one of your yours to stop me doing comic call, aren't you? I don't know yet. Uh... Well, I'm gonna do the comic call now. 
pressure. Uh, rolling to cast. Wait, wait, wait! Don't tell me that. I don't want to see it because I can't make a game with this. It, it, it doesn't matter because he failed to cast it. Yes, but I need to declare before you do that. I did not know that. I, you say I'm going to cast X, and I say no, you're not. So now you see that you've rolled. I can say oh, no, I'm going to do that. Yeah. No, I, thought I roll, and then you decide whether you're dispelling it or not. Then. Not with that one. No, you tell me what you're going to cast, and I say you're just not going to. It, oh, okay. We'll, that say that, okay. we'll say that I did that because that's that is the move that I would have done. I don't want my blood crushes to hurt anymore. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, next I'm going to. I'll play fair. But next time, let's just hold off on the. Yeah. Uh, really. And that's next, I'm going to cast sure. Mystical Unforging to get rid of your Oops. rend characteristic on this unit over here. All right. <laughs> I'm attempting to dispel with Bellicoy's first dispel. Okay. It goes through. I rolled a eight plus one, so I rolled a nine. Nine to dispel then. Yeah. Is it nine to dispel? Ten, or do ten I to roll to dispel. Over ten. You need to roll it's over it. Quite hard on a nine. Is that many dice? Uh, ten or above. I got nine. So there's no cool. dispel there. Are you casting so it on? I was casting it on these skull crushes over here, so they have they have stand no back rent. A sec, There's something we forgot on a five plus. I ignore both of these two. <laughs> I'm sure you'll allow me that. Yeah. So we'll try the ones on the middle left one first. first yeah. Yeah. Nope. Try that one. These ones. Yeah. We'll put bloody well in this. <laughs> Literally, I failed seven of these. Or five of them, I think. Okay. You got any more spells? I got okay, one more I've got one, one more spell on the slam. Yep. And, uh, Can you do well, I, might, I might pick one of his, uh, the ones he always comes with. Because I've been using the ones I've picked. But he has some that I haven't used yet. So let's have a look Take at time. those. What have we got here? Uh, so, uh, once per phrase, what is he? So, so. What's his debuff over here? Uh, that's He doesn't have any rend. He's got no rend. That unit on the model. Yeah, that unit has no rend. Hey, they're strong, man. I like this guy. He's strong. Slime. Guy. That teleport thing as well, it's really carrying you through that. Very nice. <clears throat> These are pretty incapacitated without their rend and this guy minus one to hit. That minus one yeah. to hit really is a big nerf because it's already four to hit on this, it's taking it up to five. Oh, it, you should have seen the other one because I, I basically went for a debuff spec. On my entire my team, so the third yeah. mage that you killed early, his was best. He had the best one. Yeah. I, I was so annoyed that he died. <laughs> Cause you think that get rid of your rends bad. He had one that got rid of your ward save. Yeah. It's bad at the moment to get rid of my rend on this, cause that's mainly what they're using over here. There's three of them. They get all them attacks, no rend, and these guys. Are not gonna hit because they're five up to hit. Not gonna hit as regular. So it is. A, it is quite a good nerf. Well done, mate. Uh, see, none of these, none of these spells fill me with pleasure, really. I'm gonna stick to your old one. Yeah. I was gutted about the Bellicon one where he hurt himself. That was disappointing. Yeah, that was brilliant. Can you do that again? <laughs> yeah, I probably will be on my turn, mate. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep trying. Okay, so he'll just have to use his... Okay, he hasn't used this one yet. It's a bit shit, really. It's good if you have, like, lots of you men in your units, but you don't. But he's going to cast it on these three crushers over here. Okay. So, it basically, uh, it's a cast value of eight. I roll a dice for each model in the unit. On a five plus, it suffers one mortal wound. So every five plus, yeah, I got one like that. Yeah. So, uh, name, actually. so I rolled a ten. Well, I rolled a nine plus one, ten. So you can dispel it if you want. So ten to dispel, eleven to uh, dispel. Eleven to dispel. Why do I keep picking up ten dice? Right, okay. Come on, baby. No. No, cool. So I get a faction point for that going through, and then I roll three dice, one for each of your crushers. And five pluses. One of them takes a mortal wound. So this guy here. Sorry. And he's dead. Yeah. Which one? Over here. Left side. 
Left side. No, no, there we go. That guy. He's dead. <laughs> um, he gets a ward save against spells. Only gets an attempt to resist a spell. It's more of a five up who resists a spell, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, and the ward save against spells is five up. I need to double check that. Never used that before. Stand by. It's a mortal wound, though. Roger. Oh, you said ward save, never mind. Yeah, 5 plus against mortal wounds caused by the abilities of spells and endless spells. Okay, so 5 plus. He's done it. Good lad. He survived. No. I wish I'd have resisted it in the other way because I get a faction point for that. <laughs> <laughs> but never mind. Can't win them all. That is the end of my hero phase. These are my shooting phase. And we're saying you can shoot from combat, aren't we? I think so. Sorry, it's, it's, it's my movement phase before my shooting phase anyway. <laughs> so I'm just going to move this cross call around so he can actually fight. I always forget, because we leave it too long between battles. My yeah. Oh, no, no fault to display, it's just I've forgotten is the answer to your question. I'm pretty sure we always said you can shoot from combat. Oh, you from can combat. shoot from combat, yeah. But so the question comes in, can, can you work. shoot and use your melee attacks, which I don't yeah. believe you can, I think that's where... Oh, if we can't, then I won't bother shooting. But, I, but I'm not sure, mate, is the answer. It's, but, uh, it's just, I remember us talking about this before. Wait, 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 before I forget, it's the end of my movement phase. I'm going to bring in this fucking unit that's been sitting out the whole game. <laughs> Why would you not be able to shoot in your shooting phase and then not in the melee phase? Well, I feel like you can't, in the middle of a fight, swap to a bow, shoot someone, swap back and carry on punching someone, you know, without dying, <laughs> in real life. I know, but it was like that in some of the ones... I don't know. I'm just going to play it, I can't shoot while I'm in combat. Because that makes the most sense to me. But it's a different phase. You can spell cast and then hit things. Why not shoot and then hit things? Yeah. Yeah, I mean <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. It's a different phase. Let me let me just stop doing what I'm doing, pull out my blow gun, fire a pirate. It's, la it's, it's later though, isn't it? It's later on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the same with the spell casting you cast a spell. But, but, right. but you're impressed I remember to bring that unit in, so now my whole army is finally on the battlefield. You brought him in, which one? <laughs> yeah, tur turn three of my final he? units arrived, he's back here. Because uh -oh. he's got a be next to this land. Uh oh. Impressed and scared you, right? I wouldn't be scared. He's a battle line unit. The only reason he didn't come in earlier is because I couldn't fit him on. Right. Uh. So shooting. Well, these aren't actually in combat, so these definitely can shoot. Yeah, you, you can oh. shoot. You can shoot in the shooting phase. I know that much. Well, we'll start with my little blowpipe guys because. They're not actually in combat, so they're fine. Oh, plus one for the champion. Three to hit, three to win. Again, it's going to be on your mighty skull crushers. I'm looking at rules while you're doing this. Just let me know when you need me. Three to win. Oh, good hit, good hit. Four hits. And your skull crushers, uh, no Ren, though. No. <laughs> Stand by, sorry, Dan. I'm looking for the rules on that now, it's sent me off. Um, I'll do my saves and you can look at what this guy says on Reddit if you like. How many was it? Four. Oh, no rend. No rend. Um, yeah, I saved them all. If it's on a blood crusher, skull crusher. 
It was on the Skull Crusher, wasn't it, my cavalry? Yeah, she was on the, yeah, yeah. We're just swapping screens in a second. Okay, so you can still shoot in the shooting phase. And still fight in the combat phase. And still fight in the combat phase, but you can't shoot at any unit outside of three inches. So I can't shoot all my shots at someone else and then carry on fighting. Is that on the rules or is that just on the area? That's that's what the general consensus on the response was. Got you. Okay. And then you'll be able, you're gonna be able to use your melee weapons still, aren't you? Just like a spellcaster can use their Yeah. 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 Makes shooting really, but really quite basi good. basically, it doesn't say it. Not quite but sure. Basically, usually they're melee weapons a week, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Yeah. But ba basically, you have to shoot at the unit you're in combat with. Okay. Is what it means. Let's go. Okay, in that case, shooting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them still. Plus one for the champion. Those beautiful skinky bastards. So this is a uh, forced hit. Oh, it's terrible roll. Terrible roll. There's one one hit on the left hand side, multi skull crushers. Any rend? No rend. Oh, saved. He made it. Oh, I'm hoping that guy with one just dies. Uh, right, mm -hmm. shooting on this skull crusher with. Have you killed any of these skinks yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So no say that again, Dan. They can only shoot within three inches if they're melee. Yeah. That's interesting. All right. So my plan was to shoot everybody at one unit, but they're not allowed to do that. Roger. So it's fucked you up a bit. <laughs> yes. Basically, it's a way of saying you can only shoot at the people you're engaged in melee with. Without actually saying. Seems to be the consensus anyway. Right, oh, you've killed one in that unit. Okay. Uh -huh. So plus one for the champions, that's ten, fours. I couldn't have been three, so I would have hit every single one. One hit on these skull crushers in the middle. Do you want to save? Didn't save it. Uh, I did save it. Yeah. I was about to say, you just rolled a six. How the fuck did you not? <laughs> and then these three little skinky bastards here against Belikov. I need to kill more units, bro. Oh, four hits. Only got Two wounds on Bellacor. I only got three, three of my turns to kill a few units. Bellacor, two, did you say? Yeah. Ren doesn't matter, so it's four up. Missed them both, motherfucker. Go on, you little skinky bastards. Kill that fucking Bellacor. <laughs> How many wounds? Just two. Unbelievable. He's a squishy but squishy, isn't he? When it comes to attacks. Wait, did you just take two off or did you take two. four? Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, he's gone down on the chart though, I tell you. Right, uh, that's the end of the shooting Bellicor. phase. Uh. Wait Charge a minute. Phase. Wait a minute. You should have an extra faction point. Is that? Because cause I I'm I'm two units dead. I spent two oh, I you... to cast the uh, cancel a spell. Oh okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It cost two to do that. Yeah. Didn't want. To yeah, yeah, but but you you yeah. lost a fact you lost your lord didn't you? So there should have been three. One for the lord. Yeah. And one for each. Uh... One for the stegodon. What about the skinks that the sword I didn't do the skegadon, You're right. I got one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you. Uh, right, shooting's over, so melee. Melee, let's do the skinks against the, <laughs> the big guy first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven against your skull crusher. I wanted to do the skinks first because I already had them up. <laughs> so I still got three combat points here. And how many attacks do I get each? Two? What? My skinks? Yeah. No, they only come on attack each. <laughs> Alright then, so let's, uh... Oh no, they do get two attack each, sorry, they do get two attacks each. Alright then, good luck. Okay, here we go. Wow, fours. And then fours to wound. Yeah. Uh, two hits, no rib. Alright, buddy. Two ups to save. Yeah. Made it. Uh, then the Source Warriors, uh, I'm kind of, we kind of moved a bit, I think only one of them might be in range now. Mm -hmm. Not like two. Two are in range. Because of how the fight's broken down. Text two, uh, threes and three. Three hits. Three hits. Talks to save. Ah, uh, minus one. Sorry, minus one run. Two hits to save. Did one get through? Did I find the killer? One went through. Fucking scorer. <laughs> Kill that guy in the middle. Take him off the ball. Mm -hmm. Throw him away. Off with his head. Alright, you get to fight that. <laughs> with the one guy. Oh no, you can see this guy here. I think, yeah, this guy can hit this guy. Yeah. How many hits do these Soros Warriors get? They get two wounds each. And they get two attacks each as well. Skinks get two attacks, but they only have one wound each. So I can either hit all these guys for four attacks, or I can hit this Soros Warrior. Yeah, I'll hit the Soros Warriors, because he's not going to be able because he can hit this other guy as well. Yeah, because you've got a range of two, haven't you? Let's start with eight attacks. Yeah. He can actually hit this guy just behind the Skinks. These aren't well. nerfed, are they? No. Okay. Is this coming up to the end of my turn three? This is coming up to the end of my turn three, then you oh, start yeah. your turn I've three. I've still got all these combat points for action. Yes. Okay. Rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep rolling, rolling. We got four ups to hit, and only two went through. And then. <coughs> Three ups to wound. One went through. Minus two round. So I need six ears. Mm. Oh, it landed, but then it rolled over onto a two. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so Takes one wound. Two. Uh, yeah, one, sorry. Yeah. And then we've got the hooves. Six hooves. Six hooves? Nice. Three ups to hit. Ooh. No, that's only three actually. No, it's not. It's five. So five. That's three ups to wound. Can't count. Five. Three ups to wound. That's four. Four. Four to save, no round. Four. Uh, one wound. So that guy at the front's dead. Okay. 
I believe we both need to battle shark on. Yes, we do. I ain't doing no battle shark. I'll use my command point. Stop that. I I, I passed mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you imagine failing a battle shark here? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that'd be quite bad. Yeah, that's worth the point. I'm telling you now. Okay. So I've hit back onto the next combat. It's still your go, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Is there any more hit back uh, to do? No, that's the end of hit back there. Mm -hmm. So middle middle fight now. Uh, these skinks, one, two, three, four, five, six of them versus yep. this skull crusher who has a debuff. Good luck. His debuff is minus one to hit when he hits you back. Yes, mm. that's the one. Which really sucks. It's the right spell to cast on these. The to hit is their weakness. Hang on a minute, is it one? I think I might be... No, that's the wrong... I'm looking at the wrong chart, that's why it, it, I was thinking... They get two attacks, that's amazing. <laughs> Wait, they do get two attacks. So five, seven, and then one for the champion. Uh, fours and fours. One to save. That's two ups. Are you saying? One to save. <laughs> yeah. You get to fight back. With my minus one to hit. <sighs> yep, with your minus one to hit. Only one model fighting back, because the other one's not in range. So, four ups to hit. No, five ups to hit. Had it been four ups, <laughs> he'd have got through on two attacks. Alright. Right, I'm gonna be costing that spot every fucking turn now. <laughs> on the skull crushers, you wanna be fielding this guy, yeah. Field two of them, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah th three spells each and just stack the uh yep. the minus to hit. Aim it at the skull crushers every time. I'll put them all in one unit for you so you only have to cast it once. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh so that's the end of that combat. So it's the it's the it's the almighty four skinks versus Bellacor. The almighty foreskins, yeah, okay. I'm so mature. Four. Mm. And then fours. Three. No render. Oh my god. Four up to save. He saved them all. Boo! I'm gonna right, Bellicor gets to fight back. Okay. If if by some miracle one of these skinks survives, I'm spending a command point to stop him running. Are you gonna spend this command point to stop me getting this health healed? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna. I hope that happens. Your command points are pretty OP. I will take one of those. Right. No, he's down on the chart a bit. How many wounds is taking? Ten. Ten wounds. Oh, he's all the way down there. Okay. He's gone from eight attacks on his blade attack range down to six. So to hit, three up, six attacks. Heal yourself, my guy. <laughs> Oops. Three ups. Five. I think I might be dead. Depending on the two wound. Three ups. Two went through, minus two. two any rend. rend? So two are dead. Two damage. So four are dead. Mm -hmm. So they all die. He's done it. He doesn't get a self. <laughs> he doesn't get a self. Heal. That's all that matters. I don't get to piling, so all dead either. So I can't <laughs> <do it. laughs> Right, which My was short lived. <laughs> back right. over here. Yep. So to the, the never ending war. This time two Croxivores can fight though. So one's got the special weapon, so we'll do him first. Yeah. yeah. So I wish it would like all the weapons would be in a list with the army rather than having to keep opening new pages. So first one. Oh yeah, you're using a digital 
uh, battle time there, aren't you, for all this? So yeah. Well done for that, by the way. That takes some multitasking, that. Okay, so, uh, threes to hit. You won't have them on the app either, will you? No. Cool. You put some work into that one. Threes to wound. Yep. On he failed to wound. He's, he's, he's shit. <laughs> okay, so the one with the other weapon, yeah. the not as good weapon, uh, is forced to hit threes to wound. Right. So, forced to hit. One. Th threes to wound. He wounded. Minus two ren damage too. So four up to save on two, did you say? On one. On one. Four up. Yeah. He made it. Boo. I get another flash uh, point for that unit dying, the slinks, whatever they're called, skinks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got the Saurus Warriors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Good luck. I'll just. I'm pretty sure it's fours and four, uh, threes and threes, but it might be fours and fours. Just double check. And it is let's look at threes and threes. Cool. And it is. Seven to save minus one run. Minus one, so that's three up on seven. Yeah, that's a lot. Three ups. Come on, baby. Come on, get through. One, two, three, four saves. So three went through. Three wounds. On this guy in the south here, so he's down to one wound. <laughs> Kind of stacked. Uh, you get to fight back. With no rend. <laughs> With no rend. And they can all see your war spawn, so we'll go for them. Yeah, they can all hit that cocktail. Alright, so we're looking at 4, 8, 12 attacks to start with. Four up to hit. Let's go. <clears throat> Seven. That's a good roll. Three up to wound. That was a good roll too. Four went through. No wound. One damage. Four. I saved two, took two. And that killed the guy with the better weapon. Okie cookie. Because you only had two wins left. Battle shot roll or no? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, no, I actually do have to have the battle shot roll on no. Can you not? No. I passed. I don't think, yeah, you could have used the command point. But... I could have, but it was, I don't want to use the command point. I'm saving <laughs> them for your side. It gets time. expensive, that shit, don't it? Okay, <laughs> that's very funny. And uh, I believe that is the end of my turn, which makes it your beginning of your turn three. Mm, thank you. Yeah, right in this beginning of turn three, we're going to be casting spells, we're going to be hurting ourselves. Yes, yes, cast that spell, because Velikor could always kill himself. <laughs> <clears throat> Not quite, he'd have one hit point. <laughs> That's what I said, almost. Oh, almost, okay. Then I could run up with like some really trash unit and just stab you in the toe. <laughs> that would be nice. For you. Um, that spell is crazy. I'm going to pick the spell. Do I want to even cast that? I'm going to go back to uh, <coughs> spells. Give me a second here. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I'm a bit yellow sometimes, I'm aware of that, but uh, 
It just depends. Like, technically, your chance to unbind is probably higher than my chance to cast it because you get a plus one. So the spell always works in your favor if you think of it that way. Like, you're more likely to hurt Bella Corbin than to hurt anyone else, right? Yeah. Far more likely, actually, because if I fail the casting value, it hurts me as well. <laughs> not just an unbind, it's a fail cast. I am not going to be casting that spell, which I'll kind of fuck myself over, because it's the only one it gets I, I, I think you should cast it, because Bellicor, let's face it, he can't cap anything, so he's like, he's a waste now. <laughs> yeah, but he can kill everything that's stopping everything else from capping. <laughs> I can cast that no rend thing on Bellacor as well. <laughs> mm. No, because he doesn't get the thing, does he? he? He pays no attention to that. Positive and negative uh, modifiers. I can look it up if you like. Might oh yeah, no, no, it counts as a modifier because it resets your whatever your rend value is to zero, so it is a modifier. Okay. He, he ain't casting it. I'm only casting one spell. Though. In that case, that makes me sad that I've lost some meta there. It could still be useful in an emergency, I guess. I think you should still do it, personally. I know you do. Are you just saying that? I think a real man would. A real man would do it. Damn it, Tony! Oh, I'm not playing those games. It could be the 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 losing blow that I cast upon myself if I do that. So we're not going to be doing that. He does get uh, another spell. But he only gets to cast two, which is really sad. Right, he's got a casting value of six. Alright. If you want to get ready to dispel, then you can do so. Yes, what he's. He you didn't cast? make it. That was so sad. Well, I'm not going to bother dispelling that then. Okay. Good talk. Now. Has he not got another spell we can do? He has, but we're not going to use it. <laughs> Does he not have any in like his, uh, his set abilities? Yeah, it's on it. the only ones that you can cast from there are on your war scroll and the one that you choose, and that's the one that I've chosen, and he's only got that one on his war scroll. So I've got it right. Oh, I've, got okay. the, I've got the right of it. You see why it's sad for me there. It's not really about well, the spell, is a bit, but... Well, I've just got, I got, if I manage to spell it, I've got another faction point. <laughs> mm. Oh, I see. So not only would it have hurt himself, it would have given you a faction point as well. Yeah. Would have put me one point closer. Or well, in fact, I can actually start summoning things now. I have enough points, but uh -huh. I don't know what any of the things I can afford to spawn do. I'm just trying to. So I'm just. I'm just trying to pretend like that's not going to happen for some reason. Just checking my hero face if there's anything else. There is not. Moving straight into. Do -do -do -do. Mm, movement phase. If I save up 50 points, I can summon something called a Dreads. No way you're getting 50 points. <laughs> Dreads. <laughs> Dread Warrior. I have no idea what it does. Sounds OP. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in a 10 turn 2v2, 5,000 point aside battle. No, no, all I need to do is just take more priests. Because I get one every every beginning of the game every beginning of round for each priest I have. So I should just take ten priests. <laughs> and then in a five round game I have it by ten. That actually might be the matter. <laughs> mm. Just take loads of the 130 point priests. <laughs> Maybe. Priests are OP. You don't want to come against Tears and each against that because every time someone casts a spell they get a point. <laughs> Yeah, but it's the same, so we'll both be stacking each spells on each other. Oh, really? It worked really well. What, uh, what, are, what are these? Are they order? Chaos? Yes. Death? Just They're order. order. I got it right first time. I didn't need to come out with all that other stuff. <coughs> Moving left to right. They can't move because they're in um, combat. This guy. You can move. Can move. This one. Well, you can move out of combat, don't forget. There is a retreat, yeah. But I'm not going to be doing that. To just end up in combat again. <laughs> yes, because I'm, I'm just going to keep tying them up. Mm. 
and this guy's able to run and charge because he's using it on himself. That's his base movement. Five, that's kind of shit. Right, here he comes. Um, rolling to run on the blood, so okay. Two. That takes it to seven. Hey, buddy. And as long as his charge isn't a double one later, he should make that. Oh, is he going for my little little hunters? He is. My little blow pot guys. Or is he going for? The slime style stuff. He won't get them. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to run through enemy units unless you're flying unit. Maybe he has wings that we don't know about. <laughs> or the charge would just have to be higher right, he'd have to walk probably around that way. <laughs> All the fucking way around that way. Yeah, I think you're right. And, uh, yeah, so he will be attacking those, by the way. And then we got, uh, movement on not him because he's in combat not him because he's in combat not him these guys the these guys can all move uh, and don't forget these these slaughter beasts can move as well uh, they've just been chilling doing nothing for ages yeah they have but they've, they've been moving every time they had a chance <laughs> He's got a base of five, so this can, uh, this can attack. I think that'd be a bit silly to attack that priest with Bellicor and these guys. I think Bellicor can take care of him, possibly on his own. Nothing for granted, of course. So I can either go for a move of five and then needing a nine charge, or I can go for a move of five and then needing a, yeah, or I can run them. If I run them, they're never going to see the light of day when it comes to combat. That sucks. I don't think these guys are going to see anything by turn five. I think 300 odd points here, 400 odd points here. Still got two turns after this one. Yeah, but I need him to kill things bef long before that. So, like, we can free up units and get them on the objectives, is what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't know what I'm telling you all this. <laughs> uh, okay. Ideally, I want them in combat now. But, uh... Yeah, we've got to try, haven't we? And get them up here. So they can still they can still move the five if they fail the charge this time they're less likely to fail it next time. That's the right play. It's not charge phase yet anyway. Five. Mm, that might be a bit silly. No. Uh, Mm. 
Who's that gonna charge anybody anyway? Who knows? He's gonna have to go into Okay, I'm rolling a run for these. <coughs> I got eight run. for these as well. Three. That's eight as well. Come on you slow bastards. Nah. <coughs> Slaughter brutes. Base 10. What the fuck? I'm an idiot. I've been moving, I thought there's something wrong. I've been moving them in fucking centimeters, bro. I'm like, where are they? How many of these fucking things go? <laughs> <laughs> you're wheezing, you're wheezing. Oh, I didn't realise. I, I didn't know that. I was, Did you not think funny. I was like... I was thinking... You only moved them three inches, but I was thinking that was your run and you'd only rolled three. <laughs> so that goes down that I fucked up the rules. Yeah. Well, that's the rule. I'm starting that, again. That. Well, it is because I'm starting again. I I'm not having that shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, can can I make a suggestion? You you are missing a massive trick here. What? I fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could if you win the roll for next turn, you could potentially win if you do something different that you're not doing. You want like kill everything on the objective and then end it there? Yeah. Yeah. No. Like make sure everything's you, you, dead on the you objective. Don't even, you don't even have to kill anything more. Just finish on the objective while there's nothing there. Yeah. 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 Thanks, mate. That fucking centimeter inches thing's really screwed with me. I need that. You're right. I should be capping right now. I can retreat and cap this turn, and there's nothing you can do about it. Exactly. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Stan. But let's see if you work out which one you should be doing it with. And this one. <laughs> and this one. Both. Well, yeah, you could do it. Yeah. Basically, the way I see it is you retreat with this only this unit. Okay? It's the only one you have to do it with. These ones can keep tying people up. This one retreats that way. He's not yeah. two inches, is he? So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but no, is, this is, unit is, retreats is, is. this way. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's just do that now. Is it a D6 to retreat? Uh, yes. Let me double check that actually, but I think it's one. I'll help you with it. Might as well, do. Because you haven't started charge phase yet, so this is fine. We're looking at movement. It'll be under movement, won't it? Car rolls. Retreat, there we go. Retreat. Uh, when you pick a unit to retreat, you can move each model in that unit a distance each equal to less than the move characteristic. You must move more than three inches from all enemy units, so you move up to your move. Okay. But your last unit, ha your last mount of the unit has to be within that. Can, how, what's the move on these, these it's, mounted guys here? I, I think it's a, Inches, not centimeters, by the way. 
Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we were wheezing like fuck when I did that. Yeah. So you can get all the way back here. And cap that finally. Yeah. And cap that finally. Yeah. yeah. So the yeah. No, 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 no. That one can go above. So up here. See where you put the first one? That's where the last one should have gone. Huh? Because this one's too close to these now. So. What do you mean? I'll show you. I'll, let me move. No, them. why would it matter? Where is? Because you have to be so far away from me for it to count. Oh, I gotta be three inches away, aren't I? Yeah. That was three inches, but wasn't it? Not? The oh. other, the other reason you do that oh. is because you're still capping, and I can't. You're not, you're not in combat still, and you get a free move next go to get to this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. if you, if you stack down here. You'd have to run to get to this one. <laughs> now the next thing you do in your movement phase is you move your slaughter brutes down. Damn, here. Stop! <laughs> stop! You've done enough. Because <sighs> obviously none of my units are in combat now, so you need to move your slaughter brutes down to tie them up, so I can't counter you in my turn. Otherwise, I'll just block this. Oh, it's the end of the turn, not the end of my turn. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. But it happens at this point, it's the same thing. So as long as I don't get a double one, we should be good. Yeah, and move the other one down to the cross score. There you go. Alright. Okay, then on your charge phase... Oh, don't finish your movement, but on your charge phase, you need to make sure Bellacor attacks the priest. Mm -hmm. So we'll just say that he's charging him next time. Yeah. And then we'll say that... Because otherwise guys... the priest will just move. You just fucking move these guys there five inches rather than running them. Yeah. I'm sorry about the centimeter fucking thing. Centimeter inch thing. But also, you need to make sure you leave enough room to get your, your, uni your skull crushers in here to cap this. Yeah. If you don't leave enough room, then you fucked yourself. Gotcha. Oh, these ones, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was just going to take stay quiet until the end of the game, but I was looking at it, and it was driving me mad that I could have kept both those points. Uh, <laughs> I might have got there eventually, but uh, it would have taken a long time, dude. I'm not going to lie. It's, uh... Right. Anyway, I've already decided I'm going to mention this in the introduction of the video and thank you and give you, like, most valuable player for that, because it's really generous of you to do so. <laughs> I should by no means expect that, but I do appreciate it. Yeah, so that's well, the, the, five. the <laughs> thing that was setting me off was you kept going, oh, these things are never going to get everything. I've got to kill all this before I... You didn't have to kill anything. <laughs> no. Um, It was a centimetre to inch thing that made my brain do like the dial up noise. <laughs> you know what the dial up noise I'm not gonna play that I don't like that. <laughs> Rob might play it if he's feeling mean right. but he might not be. You yeah. finish your movement and your charges, I'm gonna go take a piss. Good luck. Uh, can you can you do the blood stoker charge last though? Because 'Cause I'm going to sure. unleash hell on him. Because I finished my movements now. I'll also take a pee break. I'll be right back. I'm going to stop the recording as well, because I'll make me a couple of minutes. Alright, okay. after a short intermission, we're back. I'm just in the middle of my movement phase, I believe, so... I've just treated these. Uh, uh, no, I've just finished my movement phase and treated these. And uh, off stream to Dan, I've just said that after this turn, because I'm missing like really obvious shit right now. Um, and I'm, uh, you know, I suffer from like mental health difficulties, so like... It's a good idea. We've been going for hours. And we're going to come back to it. And Dan has kindly agreed. Thank you, Dan. Yes, no worries, no worries. Uh, so it's charge phase. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't forget. Charging, charging. We'll start left to right. No charging there. None there. Oh, did you not want to move that scro uh, crawl scroll crusher in? What, pile him in? Yeah. yeah. Should have been done in the movement phase, but that's fine. That's cool. And same with this one. Yeah. Can you check if those markers have worn off? They haven't, they don't wore off until my hero phase. Aye. No charge in here. 
And then I think we start with uh going left to right, we'll start with the other Goy Faridans. Charges yep. two D six. Do I need to can declare or can I roll first and say, Oh that's cool, I'll go further. I think you need to declare. You I'll need declare. to declare. Yeah. Charging that poor little skink star oh, priest. Certainly what did he ever and, do to you? And do you know for why? Because it might free up some charging for Belikov. It won't, because charge phase ends. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can't kill him with the charge. The only <laughs> thing that I could kill with the charge phase potentially would be the uh, the, the these, skull crushes. Yeah, because they get stomped. But you can't you can't retreat and then charge. Remind so. me to use the monstrous abilities at the end of the charge phase as well, though. Yep. <clears throat> Please. Oh, my charge in Well, uh, who's actually in combat with this guy? I don't think anyone is. No one. <laughs> no one's in combat with that guy. So there's no reason to type Bellicor him, 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 all the fucking... Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll try with these, so... I need to get two. As long as it's not a double one. Oh, we good. That's crazy. I'm not going to block my opponent with that. It doesn't mean only one of them can hit him. It's fine. He's a mage. He's not meant to be in combat. Okay. Then we got um, these guys can charge two d six. Eight. Made it. Right, you are meant to declare who you're charging. Sorry, charge. in my defense, there's only one. no, there isn't actually. I could have, but I you was, gone this I way. was <laughs> charging this guy. If you want to watch the recording after, I was hovering over this guy, but I will declare this. You're right. I probably should have gone that way, actually. But never mind. We'll clear up here. Hopefully. Um, is this slaughter proof in combat with this? Oh uh, no, he needs to charge. He still can charge. Because he moved. He moved this time. So oh, they he both needs did, didn't they? Not yeah, they both, these, they both yeah. need to charge. Got you. Right. Is he even going to fit in there? <laughs> Parallel parking props. <laughs> Is this one unit, all this? Yes. Never mind then, I'll send this guy somewhere else. That's a 10 inch charge there. That's a, that's high. I like to keep my charges below 7 or so. I would just charge the Proxigor. Well, these guys have already got him. I was wondering if we could tie anyone else up to stop me getting tied up. Well, Be Be Bellicor yeah, isn't currently in combat. He's, so I, yeah, I would charge the Croxagor with yeah, the Sword of Beast. Charging these guys. And then Bellicor can charge the. And then it's just Bellicor. And these guys as well. Let me roll a charge on these. This is yeah, going to go nearest guy because 2d6. Sorry. Yeah, but you, sh you still do need to roll for both Slaughter Brutes. Yeah, as long as it's not. Because if, if you get double ones. Yeah, I'll do that now. Bottom one first. It's fine. Top one. Amazing. And then whatever's nearest for these, more likely to get the charge there. Need a four for that guy. And a five for that guy. 
So well, you need more. You need more than five of that guy because you need to get round the other unit. So I'd go for the skin. Let's hope for a good roll. I would have charged better core first as well to get fire. He can fly though, can't he? Yeah, I know, but it's limiting your positioning on the stuff. Is you could have charged better core. I see what you're saying. I could have moved these corridors yeah. more efficiently. Charge Bellacor. 2d6. Get him out of the bloody way, to be honest. Who are you charging him into? Not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a 6. You got 5. 5. Yeah, because it was 6 to there, and you only need to be within 1 inch. This is just over 6, mate. It's 6, 1, 6, 2, uh, something like that. Fair enough. Did I say six, I think? Yeah. He's made it. Cool. I'm going to spend the command point. And I'm going to uh, unleash hell on Bellacor. Okay. Don't kill him. Is unleash hell type your faction specific, or is it something anyone can no, do? No, it's a anyone can do. It's when, when an enemy finishes a charge within so many inches oh. of your range unit, unleash hell lets you shoot at them as they come. Eleven dice, three. They might kill him, they got a lot of attacks. Three. Four wounds, no rend. If all four get through. It's the dream. And he's got a four up safe. I don't think the chance on that is too low. I think he's probably got like a 20-30% chance. My math might be right out, but let's see. Four ups to safe. You've done it. Oh my god. I killed Bellicor. Oh my god. That's insane. Get out of here. Nerd. <laughs> Get out of here, nerd. Okay. Dun dun dun. 370. Like 15% of my army. <laughs> How much is this unit? Don't tell well, them. Well, the unit they just killed him. Yeah, Do you really trash. want to be that depressed? They look really trash, yeah. They got like. No save. <laughs> like fucking three up to hit. They're literally 130 points. Yeah, that's depressing. You're right. Any more? Could have been worse. It could have been the skinks at 90. <laughs> I just got my monstrous brutes to smack him though. I think. Yeah. Except I'm not overcharging. Yeah. I know you got this uh, blood stoker to charge. He's charging these at a double one. Okay. He's done it. Cool. Monstrous. Monstrous. I can't spell monstrous, dude. <laughs> it's not on this. Right, oh, so. Okay, no, retreat. That's alright. What are you doing? Are you doing these. Or are you not doing smash the rebel? Uh, that's a good point. I can have to just. I've got, I've got it. It's here. Alright. I could smash your uh, terrain piece if I got close enough. You're not to close it. enough, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you could. What's it do? Actually, you know what? I haven't used it all game. I don't actually know what it does. It's probably going to be really important. Yeah, mine is. Let's me re-roll like, casting rolls and shit. Maybe it's similar. The bottom slaughter brute is going to stomp right now, by the way. Oh my god, it is actually ridiculous. I'll let you tell me first. In my hero phase, I could have been doing this the whole fucking game. <laughs> yeah, if there's any friendly wizard within three inches of it, my slam priest right there, <laughs> I can p pick one other terrain feature on the battlefield. Any enemy unit within three inches of that terrain feature, uh... Add two to the roll. If the terrain feature is within eight inches of this terrain feature, throw two from the roll. If the terrain feature is more than 36 inches, blah, blah, blah. Basically, on a four plus, enemy units suffer D3 mortal wounds if they're next to any other terrain feature on the battlefield. Yeah, that's huge, mate. Yeah. 
that that I should have been doing that the whole time. <laughs> well, you get down as messed up with rules as well for that one. That's a big one. That one. But it's okay. Yeah. Basically, I I used it because I wanted the extra place of power, and and I just used it as a place of power and never actually read what it could do. <laughs> it's the first time you've played. We're not to roll model perfection, right? Is all you got things wrong? <laughs> On a two up, your Quoxigore suffers D3 more wounds because he's stomping. Yes. I rolled a one. Oh, bro. Save. Come on. Go on, Quoxigore. You, you, you show him, mate. You show him. How many wounds have got left? Still got four. He's got four. That guy, that guy hasn't taken damage yet. Do I want to hit him with a crush now or do I want to hit the other guys? He's in range. I feel like I want to hit him just because I missed that one. I'm going to be vindictive. Right. D3 mortal wounds on a 2-up. Yeah, uh, that's Stomp. You can only use one a turn. Oh, correct. He's not a monster, that Quasar, or is he? I've got other stuff I can do. He's not a monster. Uh, I think he does count as a monster. I don't need to. He's not as monster in my battle yet, because he's a... It's not important, actually, because that's only if I'm hitting him. It's, it takes one... It, put, it adds one to my hit rolls against him. Until the end of the following combat, but I'm not hitting him right now, so... No, he's not He's not counted as a monster. Okay. He's gonna roar instead. Yes. And uh, the Quoxigor on a 3+, plus cannot issue or receive commands. <laughs> <laughs> it can no longer issue or receive commands in the following combat phase. So your Quoxigor cannot do none of that. Oh no, shit, you know, the all out stuff. And. Combat then. I'll start left to right. Mighty skull crushes. Yes. Going left to right. Go against the Skinks Saurus, or the Saurus Warriors. Saurus Warriors, and only two models this time. Four. You poor Saurus Warriors. Eight attacks. Are they tanky? I don't know what's going on. Pork stiff. Hold on. Yeah, we'll all out attack on these. Okay. Uh, Pork stiff. I'm going to all out defense as well. Does that just cancel it? No, it, it means, uh, so all out attack gives you plus one to hit, all out defense gives me plus one to save. Got you. I think, if I remember correctly. That sounds right to me. So we're looking for, um, it's usually four ups, so we're looking for three ups this time. So we've got an extra attack from using the all out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five went through. And then, um, to hit his three up. Yep. And then we got four through on that. So four to save Dan with minus one rend. But four to ignore, save basically just one. ignore the rend because you would use the all out defense. Yeah. So just four to save. One damage each. Okay, so Was it one damage or two? I think it went to two. I saved two, took two. I keep forgetting what their damage is. One or two. One. One. It's so you kill no, one. No, it's the Ren that's minus two. The Ren is minus two. Mm. Oh, in that case, I only saved one. Okay, so it's two damage then. So it's oh, no. Uh, no, it's three damage. Three damage, yeah. All right. You get there to attack back now. Yes, so first we'll start with skinks. Seven of them. Oops. Fours. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five to save, no rend. Okay, two ups. All saved. Cool, and then the Saurus Warriors. 
actually. I think I've already got one in range now. You only got one in range? Yeah. I don't know why these guys got to attack anyway. I weren't attacking them. The skinks. <laughs> Fair enough. They're in combat though. Doesn't they? matter. Yeah, they're in combat. They're part of that combat. The Saurus is both missed. Well, the one Saurus missed both his attacks. But none of them hit anyway, so... Yeah. That's funny. Well, no, they hit. You're just safe. <laughs> yeah. None of them look good. Okay. Mighty Skull Crushers on the Skinks that they're in combat with, I believe. Yes, they are still in combat with the Skinks. The beautiful Skinky Boys. A attacks. Sorry, I'm deafy. Started alt timing. Uh, a attacks. I cannot all out attack again, can I? No. Corpse. In fact, I might have derped because I think I need to take command points off for the monster's charge, which I don't think I did. So I've just taken a command point off there, I'll not do that again. Corpse! Sorry about that. Four. Shit, ignore this. Four. And then it's four up to wound. Uh, three up to wound, sorry. On the skinks. It's minus two rend, right? I also forgot to use my hooves on these guys, which I could still do. I guess. Yeah, minus two rend. And only uh, look, three of those went through. And I'll do three the hooves. Three of those went through, so I don't have save against that. Oh, really. I won't do the hooves because we've already done that. Okay, three of them went through, no save, one damage each. But I can do the hooves now on three this. Dead. Oh, I need to do a. a uh... Six. You good? Yeah. Uh, is that all the combat in no, this middle I'm one? No, I'm doing his hooves now. In the middle or the or the left one? Against the same unit, against the skinks. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's finish the skinks first. I didn't get to do the hooves because I think, yeah. Well, we could go back to it, I guess. But uh, three ups. So three went through on the hooves, and then we got wound. A three up. And two went through on that, so two to save, no rend. No rend, nope. six in. No saves, two dead. Uh, I get to fight back. Yeah. So, Did one, you know? two, three. Why not? I'm good, keep going. The Bellicor kill makes me really sad. Fours. Oh, that was a pathetic roll. Fives. One wound. No rend. Two up to save. He made it. He made it. I have to take a break test on the skinks. Oh. I just sure might have failed that one. Oh, you failed it now. Double cards not here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let right. me just double check that. Well, I didn't bother spending the command point to stop happening. <laughs> well, you wouldn't do it. Let's have a look. It's close. It is close. Their bravery is all we have or failed. How many points I failed. you have? How many models for you? Uh, okay. So I failed by five points. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Skinks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, quite a lot of them were dead that turn, so that's, that's, that's what caused that to be such a big fail. Uh, I didn't take a break test for the Saurus Warriors either. So right. I'm I'm going to spend my command point to not take that rather than fuck around with it now. So I, I can't remember I, how many I died. I approve of this time efficiency. <laughs> More combat to do. We're over at the Old Growth Peridons. Um, both Old Growth ones, two separate units. There's only one mono can hit out of this because I don't with my positioning. So we'll start with this guy. That guy against my skink priest. They that amazingly bit of amazing bit of melee combat. Yeah. Skill unit I have there. <laughs> is he is he OP? Is he? He's OP to shit, providing he doesn't get in melee. <laughs> 
Okay, let's do it. He gets um, three attacks on his own. Three attacks. On its own, the number three. So three is an ops. Two went through. So three ups to wound on those. Yeah, they both went through. Minus one rend. Minus one rend. So he has a save of six then. How many went through? Two. And two damage each. Saved one, failed one. Opposite end of scale is a six and a one, so it takes two damage. Takes two damage, he has four left, I believe. Uh, sorry, three left. Mm -hmm. And I go straight away into his. into these guys, because all three of these get to hit. Because they're just one. No, they don't. I think these are out of range. No, it's a two inch range, let's see. No, that's fine. I got one inch away. So three of these. These are like your Kanafis. They got three up to hit. Wait a minute. I forgot to cast the bloody, Wait a bloody minute. Save I think on. I forgot something as well. Add one to wound wells for attacks if any wounds were allocated to it. Okay, no. Once per battle, you can unleash their sav sh savagery and add one to attacks until the end of that phase. I'm not doing that just now because I've already faffed around. I'll do it next time. I'm sure I'll remember. It's only once per battle anyway, so. Okay. So, um, three ups to hit. One went through. Three up to wound. Yeah, that went through. Minus one rend. One at minus one rend. So, so six C. Failed to save. Two damage. Two damage. So he's on. God. Why can't it have been zero? And then we got next Therodons against the Quoxigore. Uh, I get to fight back. Oh yeah, yeah. I will fight back. With my, with my amazing pole. With my two attacks. It tickles. Two attacks, fours and threes. Uh, I didn't hear anything. He missed. Oh, okay. <laughs> if if the total was four, then I'd be okay. <laughs> four attacks, all missed. Oh, this is how it goes sometimes. Nine attacks on the old quirks ago. Well, that's four, my friend. How do you feel about that? Uh, kind of sad because he only has four wounds. Three ups to hit. That made me even sadder. <laughs> <laughs> Five went through. Getting sad about it. <laughs> three up to wound. I think you'll be alright here. No, you won't actually, because they do three damage. Um, three up to wound. Two of those went through. So you got two Any to rend? save at minus one rend. Okay, so I need fives. Yeah. Both went through. How much damage? Three damage each. He's dead. Welcome to the Ogoi Therodons. He's gone. He put up a good fight. He'll be remembered. Uh, this guy doesn't get to do fuck all because he's already dead. Yep. So this guy. So you can take solace in that, my friend. Onto the slaughter bush. You can just walk away from these things. They're so slow. These ogroids. Five base. So it's pretty it's pretty average, average fight based actually. <laughs> it feels slow compared to the cavalry when you're running around with these fucking things. Yeah, that's because it's cavalry. I know, I know. I know, I know. Raise the tip pause. Four up to hit, but how many attacks do I get? It's the table, okay. Maximum. Eight. Eight attacks, four ups to hit. Four ups to hit. So seven went through. That's a really good roll. 50% chance on each dice and seven out of eight go through. Jesus Christ. Uh, three ups to win. Jay's in man. Good timing. Three, two, three, four, five. 
Five to save at minus one rend. So I need four. That's five. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I saved two, took rid of the rest. D3 damage on all the ones that you didn't. So three, uh, D, uh, D3. Three D3? Yeah. I'll do the D3s. Find me. Uh, so that's three, six, seven. Seven. Seven damage. Two, four, four, wait. What's the range of it? The range? Uh, two inch. Six. And then one on this guy. Yeah. You want to get hit me back? Yes, one, two. And then we'll end it there and re record when we play again because I need a break. Five, James is a nonzo. Five, four. Three, uh, four, so. <coughs> two at minus one rend. Saving two. On the slaughter bro, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's the first time I tried to hit this guy, I don't know, so. Four ups. So it's five ups. Five ups. One save, one fail. How much damage is that? One each. Oh, one damage. Uh, I lost three units, so I roll. And that takes him down. That's on to six. And and then... Oh, that was. Oh no, that's the crooks of gore. What's the. Oh, I lost Bellacor, so I get a faction point. And. And the crocs of gore, so you get one for and that the as well. Crocs of gore as well, so that's four faction points. I can cancel two of your spells next turn if I feel like it. Can I, or can I just cancel one? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Oh no, okay, bravery eight. It's cool. My 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 Soros warriors stay. Alrighty. Only just, but they stay. Well done. Um, any more combat or no? Uh, I fought back already, so that's it, isn't it? Can you help me save this then, so we can uh, we start? I'm gonna end okay. the stream now. Next time you see us, we'll be continuing this. It'll probably be on another day. We've been going about what was it? Half two, half three, half four, half five, half six, seven, half seven. But you don't have to worry. You'll be back in a second. See you. And after a brief intermission, I'm recording now, Dan. We are back. Welcome back. Welcome back. When I say brief intermission, we actually had about three or four days off, didn't we now? <laughs> Came back. <laughs> yeah. um, Things to do. Take it people to see. We're rolling for... Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. We're rolling for turn four, Dan. Yes, we are. Oh, the one... Did I? <laughs> yes, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Let's try again. A three. Four. Oh, okay. Woohoo, my turn. Good job. Just while Dan's like planning out his hero phase, yeah. I, I will just say that we're planning on taking breaks like this all the time. You've probably, it's probably a bit jarring the switching energy from like when we left off to this because now I feel all concentrating. Good talk. I feel all um, alert. That's the word I was looking for, Dan. A lot. And if when we left off, if you remember, Dan was literally having to like guide my brain into like making basic decisions, like taking objectives the right way and stuff like that. And you will remember that because it was about twenty seconds away from from you guys, but from us, it's been a week. <laughs> so we're into Dan's hero phase. We are, we are, we are. And uh, first things first, I, I have four some... faction points, bro. That's cool. Do I use them to cancel all down spells, guys, or do I just try and actually summon something up that's going to help me? Right, where is the, uh, which ginkgo have I got left? Is it the priest or the, yeah, it's the star priest. Oh, oh I promised Richard's brother a video as well over Christmas because he says he's been a very good boy. <laughs> that's his words. That's what I said, yeah, we'll do your video. You know what you should do, right? You should just make a video of a lump of coal. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny because I have a funny feeling that Richard actually gave someone coal one year just for the laugh <laughs> in their family. So it is there is a running it might have been one of his kids or something. But uh, yeah, that'd be funny. 
I'm trying to get up my uh, notes on uh, what I can summon. I think it's here somewhere. Uh, sub faction abilities, no. So spell casting. Okay, I feel like that wasn't the spell I was using, but I think maybe he has another spell on in the app that I was mm. using. Because okay. the spell I picked for him was, uh, I don't feel I've used it, but it lets me move a unit in the hero phase and then move them again in the normal phase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be cancelling that spell. I have, I'm looking through my app to find my army list. I have too many armies of the trees it's, it's ridiculous oh, uh, oh there is things I can summon up for points now if I want to but I have to do it there, there is for phase. me as well but I am I am a coward uh, <laughs> mm. this is going to be a bit weird because you could just summon it up on turn 5 and start oh. capping an objective don't you? This, this is what I was using for him I remember now. So first thing I'm going to do is cast a spell, Blazing Starlight, on your mighty skull crushes here, the two that's in the middle. Blazing Starlight, do I want to cancel yep. that with blood it's ties? A, it's got a casting value of six, it gives you a debuff of minus one to hit. On you, are you trying to cast that on? On these two mighty skull crushes here. Minus one to hit. Um, I'll let you have a go at that. I rolled a ten. <laughs> okay. I'm going to roll to dispel. I did not dispel. Now, I roll a d6 to see if I resist the spell and gain a blood type, which would be really nice, because then I'd be able to summon even better. So on a 5 up, it's resisted. I got a 6, let's go! Ooh, That's ooh. a faction point for Brian. Which now means instead of summoning something shit, I can actually summon something quite good on my turn. Please okay, who continue did the, to cast these who, who did the... Uh the, the, um, There's only one guy that can do it, and um, he's no longer alive. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, because I thought I'd killed your, 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 your sorcerer. Yeah. But... <laughs> okay, it's so a good you, job you... it failed. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a good job it failed. <laughs> so funny. Okay. Right, okay. Um, but, but back to what we're doing anyway. So that was the one spell from the skink. Between me and the viewers, I'm just going to type something on the on the screen here. Uh, what I'm going to do to Dan is this. He's going to use blood points to count on my best spell. In, in a way. Right, and there we go. Over here, Dan. Right, okay, so now I get the three spells from my slam. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to cast is Mystical Unforging on these two mighty scroll crushes here. Mystical Unforging. It removes your rend characteristic from your character. It removes rend. Cast right. value of eight. Again, I'm going to let you have a go at that. Which I failed to cast. <laughs> you failed to cast, okay. Okay, next I'm going to uh, cast Stellar Tempest on what does this do? each five. Pl I roll if I cast it. I roll a dice for each uh, model in the unit. For every five plus I roll, you take a mortal wound. Right. And I'm right. going to cast it on these two skull crushes in the middle. Okay, I'm going to deny that one and use two blood types for that one. Use two blood types for that one. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that leaves me with Comet Cool. How many spells have you got? This is my third one on this character. Christ, on a stick, he needs to die. <laughs> right, so on this one, I, I, I has a casting value of 7. I can pick up to D3 different enemy units on the battlefield, unless I roll a 10+, plus, in which case I can pick up D6 units on the battlefield. Okay. And uh, each of them suffer D3 mortal wounds. Okay. Roll a 1. And a roll! I rolled a 9 plus 1 for the slam, is a 10. Yeah. And then roll a 1 for your d3. You only fight one unit. That would be amazing. I hit 3 units. You hit 3? Yeah. Alright. Um, so which units are you targeting? 
I'll do the resists. The uh, skull crushers in the middle. All right, I'll roll that one first. Uh, five up. It's a resist. No. Next one. Uh, skull crushers on your left, my right. Five up. It's a resist. No. Damn it. And the da, 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 the, the Thorgrins here. Okay, five up. No. Oh my god. <laughs> right, so each one takes D3 mortal wounds, so we'll start with the skull crushers here. Alright. They take two mortal wounds. Damn. They have a ward save. Oh, cool. So it's a five at ward save, ain't it? Yeah. Didn't make it. He's not having those rolls today. So that puts him down to three out of five. Next one. Now the two in the middle. Take three wounds. Ward save. I need that one on this. Five up. Didn't. No. Oh. One's dead. The other one's got one health. Uh, no, he hasn't. He's lost one health. Big, big difference. <laughs> yeah. And um, these these Orgrins here. Next. They don't have ward and save. They take three wounds. Oh my god. Talk about rolling well against rolling shit, dude. Okay. Alrighty. Right, so that's all my spells. Uh, I am now going to... Mm. Uh, no, no, I'm done. That's, that's my spells. I will, I will go on to shooting phase. I've probably at this stage used enough faction points to be able to summon up a bloody bloodthirster. You know, all these dispels I've been doing. Oh wait, sorry, I, I forgot to have my faction points. And how many spells got through? Remind just one us more. how you score faction points. Yeah. So I get one for every wizard on the on the map at the beginning of the game, at the beginning of the round. Yeah. Which is two, and every time I cast a spell, I get one. Right. And every time I counter a spell, I get one. Okay. Does it have to be a successful cast? Because I've cancelled. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I only get one for the the casting. And um, just a reminder: a lot of the time when you're spending these points, you have to do them in your hero phase um, if you wanted to spend them. You have to have a look. Uh, mine uh, actually happened at my movement phase. At your movement, okay. Yeah. At the end of my movement phase, so I can't move the unit that gets summoned. Mm -hmm. uh, right, so it's movement now, isn't it? Ah. I've just realised I've got these guys still chilling, doing nothing. <laughs> uh, they're going to stay there, they're going to charge in a minute. Uh... These guys are gonna move in a little bit. Pile in. These guys are gonna pile in. <laughs> These guys are gonna pile in. These guys are gonna pile in. Uh, does anyone else need to pile in? He can pile in as well. Can all move slightly towards the door. Every town has its ups and downs. Sorry. Sometimes ups. Uh, actually, these guys are going to move. Oh, no, the downs. But not in Rotherham. I'm inclined to believe. Look at this slant, Star Master. Why has he got three inches in his name? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so you can turn that round thing on or off. It's his aura. Ah. Uh, oh, one of the that's sweet. Own. I like that. Hey guys, let's have a look at the battle from Dan's perspective for a while. I've been sat in mine the whole time. In future videos, I think we should try and remember to do that. Put the camera angle in the viewers. Um. In, in the perspective of the person whose turn it is. Yes, that does sound bad. Right, uh, so that's my movement phase over, my shooting phase, everything's in combat, so nothing can shoot. Um, charge. Charge phase. Combat. So, charging the Saurus Warriors into the all grid Theradon things. Just, it's 2d6 for a charge, isn't it? Yeah. I think they make that to be fair. Five. Yeah, they make it. 
I'm just glad these Ogoids got to the fight. They're you know, pretty strong. If we had time. And up and we'd leave. So, what do you reckon, viewers? Do you think Dan's going to summon up a unit on turn 5 just to stop me capping an objective? I reckon he will. I think you've got to spawn it away from him, though, Dan. I'm not going to do it this time. Uh, so it just has to be within 12 inches of a cosmic node. There's some. Yeah. So it has to be either either of my wizards or my base thing here. Objects still count as scenery. I wonder if we can spawn it in on the objective. Like, it sets a precedent, doesn't it? Yeah, but mo most spawnings, uh, it's got to be a, a few inches away from enemies as well. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure every spawning so rule says it has to be away from enemy. From enemy, yeah, but not from objective. Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. So most, most of the time the enemies can be fighting over the objective. So yeah, it sounds balanced to me. Of, yeah. And we've already set precedent on this because I can teleport to uh, mm -hmm. objectives as silver now. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm going to stop that. Oh, we can. I even right. tried uh, that's to like, all my movement. That's all my And it was like, no, nah, we can still teleport there anyway. It's like underground, ain't it? Yeah, yeah movement yeah. charge, sorry. Yep, yep. Yeah, movement charge. So it's uh, melee now. Come back. Yeah. Let's start uh, your left, my right. And we've got two Saurus warriors waiting your mighty skull crushers. Okay, you've closed these skinks in on these. Yeah, so I get more rolls, more rolls. Let's get out the stats of the Saurus Warriors because I can't remember them off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, so they get a Celestial Club. I did equip more clubs, yes, I did. Uh, they get two attacks, three to hit, three to wound. And there is two of them that can attack. And one of them's a champion, so I get five dice. Three. Three. Two wounds. On the slaughter boat, two wounds. Oh no, on the uh, over this side, on the mighty skull. Oh, crushers. skull crushers. Sorry, I uh, minus one rend. Mighty skull crushers, mighty minus one rend. So uh, that takes the save to three plus. How many? Sorry. Two. Two. Three ups. I'm cursed. Uh, one went through. One went through. Cool. So you take one wound. Uh, then I get to bite you. Uh, uh, oh. one Sorry. Roll one dice for each model in this unit within one inch of that unit. So that's two dice. On a six plus, you get more wood. That wound you just caught, do I get to mortal? Do I get to ward save that on a. I think it's a separate thing. That's No, no, no. Ignore me. Ward save is against spells on these. Is it? I thought you could ward save against anything. I'm pretty sure it's just like having a second save. Mm, yeah, it's just this specifies caused by spells, this one. So oh, okay, so your yeah. particular ward save is for spells. Okay, well I didn't do any mortal wounds. No. Uh, then the skinks attack and then you get to fight back. So how many skinks have I got here? I had one, to check two. that, sorry for the pause. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten A bear walks into a bar. He says, I'll have a pint of beer, please. And the bartender says, why the long pause? E, it's too much cocaine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, attacks. Did I give them clubs? I gave them clubs. They get two attacks. So that's... 21 dice. And it's forced to hit. On the skull crushers, forced to hit. Forced to wound. I hit you with five, no rend. Against the skull crushers? Yeah. Can they all hit that? Five with yes. no rend. Okay, so it's two ups. Two ups, buddy. Oh my god, two of them went through. How much damage? One each. They're, they're, they're really trash unit. They don't do a lot of damage. 
you just killed him. Oh, okay. You killed the model, it's just gonna count when I get to fight you back now. Woohoo, you get to fight back. Okay. Against, um, ah, do I need to battle shock? No, there's something about No, it's at, at the end, end, of, end, of, end of the battle round, you battle shock. So once you fall back. There was something back. that stopped me battle shocking as well, and I've forgotten what it was. Okay, at the end. Okay, so I'll fight back first. Yeah. Starting with on um, <clears throat> on the Saurus Warriors, we're going to do um, four attacks, three ups to hit. Four attacks, three ups to hit. Yeah, good job on that kill, mate. That's pretty huge, honestly. Yeah, I mean, everyone would have that spell. My doors are, are really cursed today. And then, three up, got this one dice. <coughs> and that didn't go through. No attacks hit that time. I'm going to do the hooves now. This the is really, 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 really unprecedented badly rolls, these three ups. That's a bit better. We got two on that one with the hooves. And then we got three ups. <coughs> one. <laughs> One went through. One went through. Any rend? No rend. One damage. Pathetic. Oh, I might have saved that. I can't remember quite what their save is. I think it was fours, but let me check. I hope it's five, because then one's died. <laughs> no, it's not, because I rolled a five. <laughs> it is fours. <laughs> so saved. Damn. Uh, no, I'm, that's what, yeah. I meant I hope the save was... Yeah. But that would have made it as well, actually. Uh, so, Battle Shock. <laughs> Remind me if you can, or I can look it up. Uh, you roll one dice plus however many models you've lost, and you have to roll underneath your bravery. They got a bravery of six, and I rolled under two. Okay, got it good. Right, one to next. Next fight is your Blood Stoker versus my ranged guys that are now. Apparently, melee. <laughs> huh. Don't think I actually did anything with them before. <laughs> Are you hitting first? Yeah. Unless you've got strike no, first. Oh. So, uh, I mean, this says everything about, about this unit in, in melee. Even their weapon's called Feeble Claws. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five of them. And then the champion gets plus. Oh, he only gets plus one to the. Yes. To so his ranged attack, not his thing. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, that would have been useful to know earlier. Apparently, they're chameleons. So if you're more than twelve inches away from them, you can't target them or see them. <laughs> oh. But, but obviously no use now. But okay, so this is how bad they are. You need fives to hit and fives to wound. Hey, you got one in there. You got six. And then to wound. Oh, I got six again. Oh shit! I didn't think you I was got, you got to get his stats up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd have to get his stats up. Either. Yeah, well, you know, you, isn't it? Yeah, you would need oh, to get his stats up for getting back. Yeah, it saves four up. I need to follow up. Yeah. No, he didn't make it. He got two. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, he did make it. You well under, don't you? No, you well over. No, I you're was well right over. the first time. Yes. <laughs> taking a wound. One damage. One whole damage on the bloodstock. On the feeble so claws. A, from the feeble claws, yeah. He's wounded. Wounded. So, he'll hit back now with his torture blade. Yes. Loki, quite a lot of damage. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, just even the name compared to my feeble claws. <laughs> <laughs> You've wounded his, me just through the name. a blood whip as well after. Well, we'll, do. we'll do the torture blade first. So it's a free up to hit. And they all hit. Free up to wound. And only one of them wounds. Minus uh, one wound. Any rent? That's uh, so one one model takes and two damage. Uh, how many wounds? Two damage. So, how does that work? If I've only got one wound, does it just kill two models? Two then? models, yeah. Okay. Wee. Let's keep it simple. <laughs> Wee. And then his blood whip. Three ups to hit. 
Two went through. Three ups to wound. Two went through. One damage. Two, two to save, but one damage. No rend on this one. No rend, so I get to roll mm. the same. I need six. I saved one. No way. I'm, I'm gutted. Oh, that was the two extremes that I rolled a one and a six. <laughs> I oh, know. I wanted to kill them all. It was possible if I'd have got another two wounds in. Is is that the all hits over? It is, mate. Yeah. No. Right. I need to roll battle shock. I rolled a three. Plus, I lost three, so I rolled a six, and their bravery is five. So you lost a model. So I lost a model. Yes. If it had been both of them, that'd have been real nice. I could use the blood soaker to tie up another unit in my turn. Right. And is there another combat next for you to yeah, go? Yeah, there's, there's, there's loads of combats left to go. <laughs> we, right, so we like combats, that's okay. Yeah, we've got the Skink Star Priest versus your... Can I hit them? Well, Skink Star Priest. What's the range on the Star Priest? He has melee weapons. Range 2 inch, yes, so he can hit the multi Sky Crusher. Alright. Which is amazing, amazing melee ability. He ain't bad, two attacks, force. Fours! Force to hit. Freeze to wound. And freeze to wound! No. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, he's not too bad because he does D3 damage. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Potentially get some six damage out there. Yeah. Minus one but, wound. But as well. Um, right, stats. so that's the end of the that's the end of the skink priest. Do you want to fight back against him? Um, they only get one fight back, don't they? Shall I do mine after you've done all yours? Yeah. Oh, is he the only one that's going to be able to hit these? He's the only one that they're going to be able to hit. It's just one one guy in this unit, isn't it? Yeah, just yeah. just the one mighty skull crush. Radio. Let's see. So the fight back on that is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Three ups to hit. Wait. Four ups to hit. There's different ways to field these, but this seems the most accurate one. And the different weapons. Four ups to hit. And four dice. Only got one. That's sad. Uh, three ups to wound. Nope. No dice. And then we'll do the hooves now. Hooves! Oh. These are usually the bits that kill me. <laughs> they are really. Three up to hit. Which is why. Because I got a three up to hit. They hit more often. Two went through. Three up to wound. One wound. No rend. One wound. No rend. Uh, I don't think this has got much of a save. I think it's a five or a six. It's a five. Oh, I saved. <laughs> God damn. The fate is with you today. You got the first turn as well. Yeah, yeah. So next will be my Saurus guard here. Three of them attacking your Og Ogrid Thoradon. Mmm. Yes, yes. Oh, wait. I'm, they've got a two inch range. I might be able to hit them more. Four can. That guy can't. I guess four can hit you. Uh, they get two attacks each, so... Uh, this is the first time I've actually used this unit. So, threes to hit. Threes to wound. Three wounds minus one ren. Three wounds minus one ren. On the Theridans. I think their saves are pretty poor if I'm honest. Let's have a look. Their damage is nice. I don't, I don't think it's poor actually. That's all. Five up. Yeah, it's pretty poor. Three minus one ren. So that takes them to sixes, don't it? Yep. Yep. I need sixes. Oh my god, I got two sixes. I'll just forgive him. <laughs> so only one went through. How much damage? Uh, one damage. One damage on the Ferrodons over here. Is there an injured one? Yes. 
Oh, he's got one woman left. He got stabbed up. Stabbed up. Yeah, yeah. You can hit him back now. Yeah, you can hit him back now. So, we're attacking with the um, Great Axes. The champion gets an extra attack, so I'll just add that. Um, how many models have I got here? Three? Three. Three, yeah. yeah. Nine attacks. Three up stack. Oh god, ignore that. Unfortunately for me. Bit so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're looking at six to wound. Three ups. I love how you're Three. using my <laughs> Am I? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Three. <laughs> That's a first. So three have gone through. I don't know, I got yep. three more dice out. Minus two rend. Okay, so I need to save three at minus two rend. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure that means they don't have a save. Let me double check. I forgot my champion's attack. Shit. Well, they do have a save. They've actually got a really I'm good save. I'm going to do my champion's Why? attack after done. I forgot to do it. Okay. So minus two rend, you say. So they've got to save fives, because they're normally threes. Yeah. These are actually really good. Why didn't I take more of these and less of them? And just to let course? you know, Dan, every one that you fail, you take three damage. Saved one, uh, took two. So that's six damage. Oh, great, Ferrodons. So they've got two wounds each. So he dies. And I'll do my champion now. I'm going to use your side because it's easier for the camera angle. <laughs> he dies. So he dies. Three ups to hit. No, he didn't do anything. I'm good, good. Away. That was quite a hit back. Next one? That was. Uh, I've got a roll of bravery test because I lost the model. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, I rolled five. Oh, that's plus. high. One, two, three, so that's an eight. Come on. Uh, what is their... Actually, no, how close are they to this land? Oh, they have a bravery of eight, so I succeeded anyway. All right, okay. <laughs> and yeah, I think they get his bravery, don't they? If they're... Yeah, because they're within 12... If they're within 12 inches of them. Oh, okay. They are. Oh, shit, I could have done that with them as well. Well done. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. If my auntie yeah. had bollocks. All right, so that's that combat over, so... It's just this one over here left with the not as good Saurus warriors that I didn't realise gotcha, weren't gotcha. as good. Otherwise, I'd have taken more of this guard instead of the warriors. I just want an army full of Therodons after that. Like the guard, <laughs> the guard are cheaper than the warriors, hmm. but but they're not as good. The just guard take all are cheaper, guards. but they're not. As, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Right, special cap attacks too. It can be a bit like that warmer, I've noticed. Like there's a little balance in unit selection. I think sometimes you got to like really look and study. The units, like just spending a thousand points, it's you know. So threes to hit. Between one person that spent randomly and another person that really studied all their models, you're gonna have a massive difference, like an exponential difference. Yep. And then da -da -da -da, threes to wound. Uh, that one's kind of cocked. I believe this is against my big boys, aren't they? the slaughter boots. Yeah. yeah. I want to reroll this one because it was cocked. Okay, wait. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six wounds to save on the slaughter brute. Six to minus on one rend. Minus one rend. Okay. Beat up. But it saves up to five. I found a new meta, by the way. Just use your dice. <laughs> That's why you started rolling well, because you started using mine, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you only said one that time though, unfortunately. So So five went through. Yep. Which is kinda crazy. Six. Oh so you said one, so five went through, so he takes five damage. Mm hmm This one. Yeah. yeah. You got stabbed up. Eight wounds. Fight back. And he gets fight back. <clears throat> With his razor tipped claws. Wait, I get to bite. I forgot about bites. Oh, do you bites then? Yeah, uh, right. Bites, uh, I roll. Oh, I have to roll for how many units you've got, so I roll one dice. Didn't go through. No. Um, 
Right, this guy we... gets to use a command ability if I've got command points, which I think I have. I don't know if I have, it looks like I spent them. Wait, it's a new turn, how can I? I don't use it's a new any. turn, you should have three. three. Is your general still alive? No, don't get any. No, you only get two. Oh, that's okay. And I get two. Well, this takes it down to one. All it does when I use that, it's called leave none alive. It means I get to use the top of my damage table all the time, regardless of how much I've been wounded. Ah. Very so good. Pretty strong. Because you'd have taken him uh, down a peg or two there if you'd have not. Made one less attack, one less uh, rend on his jaws as well. But yeah, he's back up to the top of the table. So, four ups to hit. Razor to close. Eight attacks, four up to hit. Okay. Come on, fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven went through. No, they didn't go through, but that's uh, to wound now. And, uh,. To wound is three up. Here we go, here we go. And three went through. I've left you three dice on the table. Is Any rend? Minus one rend. Minus one rend, so they have a save three up of minus fives. One. Oh, save two, took one. D3 damage. Okay, roll a D3. Two. two. So you kill one. Hey. Fatal shock. <laughs> Actually, do have to deal with that. <laughs> they have a bravery of eight, five, six. Yeah. So. Oh, they, hold they on. have a bravery got, of eight. I got more shit going on as well. I forgot right, to attack oh. with a no weapon. Of... Okay, use your weapon. Yeah. And they take damage for being near me, which I always forget as well. I'll sort that out in a minute. Um, but I'll do his, I'll do his mighty jaws now. That might have cocked the bravery chest, but never mind. Uh, mighty jaws. Two attacks, four up to hit. That's one to wound. It's got a star on it. Uh, one plus to wound with his jaw. He's biting you. And that went through. Three damage. No. Any rend? No rend. Uh, sorry, yeah, you got one to save. Saved. Damn it. Okay. And then, um. Sh da -da 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 -da. What is it? Let loose the chains? No, that's the charge rate. Unbridled ferocity at the end of the combat phase. Um. I'll just do it now, yeah, because so, we're on this unit, aren't we? Oh, yeah, it is. No. Uh, wait, it's the end of the combat phase as well. Yeah. Uh, if this unit's within 3 inch of enemy units, pick one enemy unit and roll a dice on a 2 plus it suffers d3 mortal wounds and he himself suffers one mortal wound. Weird. Okay. Okay, so d3. suicide bomber. A little bit. 3, three. to you, 1 to me. Have I got anyone that's injured? Yes, I have, so that's 2 models down. Okay. I'm but not, because I'm not that. Make your battle shock again. No, well, no, you wouldn't because that happens at the end of the battle phase. Mm. So it doesn't affect battle shot. Okie dokie. Because because battle shot happens at the end of the battle phase, and then that happens, I think. Okay, buddy. Makes That's sense. how it sounds to me. Anyway, I need to read the actual <laughs> the actual thing about the sort of room. <laughs> cool. Yeah, works. I'm under attack. I miss what you were saying then a little. I'm under attack about the battle shot stuff, but yeah. Uh. You're under attack. From what? It's a dog. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at the board like what? <laughs> is it Betsy or is it Rolo? It is Betsy. It's hey my doggies. Feet, my feet are uh, uh, getting licked. Aww. The doggos. They're so cute. Have they been out? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I got I distracted think we're by the dog. my hero face, but I might be wrong. That's okay, Dan. You, you are correct. You are correct. It's your turn. There we go. I'll whack it up to turn four. 
Any spell casting? No, because yeah. I don't have any spell casters. Oh, I wouldn't too much spells from spell. I bet you did. Getting them to faction points. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna check something real quick on my summons. I did have it up here, but I'll be damned if I've still got it. I forgot how to summon stuff. No. Nope. See it somewhere. War skulls, no. Battle tactics, no. Battle traits. Yes. When is the summoning phase? It will be movement, so I need to wait for movement for that. Which is now. So at the end of the movement I get to do my summon. Yeah, yeah, so it's the same as mine, it stops you being able to move what you just summoned. Right time. then. I'll have to be honest, I haven't really got much planned out here, so I'm just gonna take it nice and steady, see what I wanna do. And we'll begin left to right. So, um, what's the range of the uh, terrain pieces, Dan, to capture them? We said two inches, didn't we? Two. I'm guessing because I'm surrounded in this way. In fact, I'm not guessing. I know that I can't walk through these skinks to cap that at the end of my turn here. You, you'd have to retreat, so you'd have to go away. Away from, from you, yeah. which would be like that way. And I think you've planned that as well. Yes. So yes, well done so. for that. Now what you got touching this, I need to kill this turn to win the match. <laughs> I think I win if all these die. Yeah, if you can kill the Saurus <laughs> God. So it might have worked in my favour, just saying it might work in my favour. You were going first. Um, if I can kill the Saurus Guard and the Skink. Pretty and smitty. the Skink. I uh, don't know. Yeah, yeah he's just... Oh, he's just. Yeah, and then it's game, I think. Yep. I don't think that's unachievable, to be honest, with all that's on there. The Ogroids are really, really I wasn't strong. expecting the Ogroids to be that damaging, to be honest. I thought I'd, I'd tie you up with the guards and then have uh -huh. the time to get <laughs> the others over. <laughs> well, uh, when do I need to declare a run if I'm going to run? Is that as soon as I move? That's or? in movement phase, yes. Yeah, I oh, can't just move and then, and then go, then oh, run. I want to run as well. I, can, I have to declare it. I can't move and decide to run after. No, you can move and then declare the run. That's fine. Oh, that's right. That, that's personal preference to me. I allow that. I don't know if it's the official rules allow it. But I don't I think it matters fine. anyway because it doesn't because you can they, calculate you can't, your run before you even start. So I know yeah, how far it's going to be. You, or you could spend the command point and guarantee a maximum movement run. There is that. So I'm going to move this guy. <sighs> oh wait! If you attack back and kill him, he ain't capping shit. Um, yeah. So I could, I've got two decisions to make. Bear in mind, if these all don't die, then well, don't forget I don't he's win. in combat with the priest at the moment. Ah, right. Ah, right. So that that works in your favour. I thought I had in this bag until that piece of information prevented it presented itself. And in the movement phase, there's no way that I can get this guy on this subject at the end. But I can bring these in. These can do it. Yeah, that's what I thought you were meaning. You can you can get these yeah, in because they can yeah. run, they can walk, and then they can charge. And they should in make that unless they get a really poor roll and they run. So this time yeah. we're going to start right to left, get the fun bit out of the way. Do I win on this turn or not? I think that a lot depends on this roll. I think no, I think if we might know. Turn five, it's fifty-fifty. I think. What do you reckon? If, if um, I don't win this turn, it's it, turn, it, it, it depends if I can get two more faction points or not. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no, I can. Yeah. yeah, you. If it gets to turn five, I win. I At least have a movement speed of eight. You you think you win if you get turn no, five? No, I think whoever wins the roll to go first wins in turn five. So if I look at this, and um, two inch from here is here. That takes me. I need a uh, ten point five. I need an eleven, so I need, need a that. three up on my run to get to the objective. Right? Don't run! Don't run! Don't run! Oh, charge! Walk and then charge the Saurus guard. <laughs> Your plan to lose is almost complete. <laughs> yeah. That, that running is 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 a, is it's a the same distance because you can yeah, also right. you get the I extra get attacks. attacks on the yeah. guard Damn and straight. then you, you should win. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're your Orgrims, the guard are down there. Oh, 
but it'd be an extra inch to get to them done, so you have to fight to yeah. that in as well. If I fail the charge roll and I don't get there, I'm in trouble. Yeah, but you get two dice on a charge, you only get one on a run. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. So, yeah, it does make it an extra inch though. Instead of yeah, 11, get, that'll get, be 12. So. Yeah, but you get two dice. So, so I, need, I need four. You four need four or two, or two dice. Yeah, four <laughs> and two. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm closing my eyes. Uh, charges happen in the oh. charge race, don't forget, so do you move first. Oh, fuck off, I've just rolled it. <laughs> I'll let you keep no, it. No, 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 you're right. No, 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 we re roll it, we re roll it. It'll give us a bit of something to. Do, do all your movement first. Eight inch. Oh, well, hang on. From this guy, because I haven't moved in. Eight inch. This is fun. So we're going to do the charge shenanigans straight after. Or well, don't you want to do the rest of your movement? Like your brute here, these well, are yeah. combat. Yeah. Of course. So that's him moved. Um, Any pilings you want to do? Uh, let's see. So I don't have to worry about him or him or him. I'm just going to go for a win on this turn, I think. So we'll bring the Ogrims in behind. Wait, save some room for the cavalry to get in there. Um, as long as I can attack with everything, I'm fine. Uh, so their movement's only five, so let's get them out of the way up here. Look, so that's the furthest I can go with these. Yeah. Uh, we can fit two in there. No. Ah. <laughs> Maybe. That's not too dodgy. Oh, I'll allow it. But they do need to charge before they can attack. Okay, so as long as they don't get they a might double, roll one, a double one. Then, <laughs> they might then roll I'll a have to move one. them an inch back this way, won't I? Yeah. Okay, bear that in mind. Mm. All this is in combat, isn't it, these two? Yes. One, two, three. They ain't moving unless they're retreating, which would be a little bit silly. And um, this lot's in combat as well, so that's movement yeah. into the uh, shooting. Slaughter oh, brute. Slaughter brute, slaughter yeah, brute. of course, yeah. Not that one, but this one. I'd not thought about these. They need to be attacking as well. Oh, it's just the one, so I need to get him down here to this skink star priest. Um, I think he's got high movement. I think he's even higher than the cavalry. I went OP this match, I'm not going to lie. This is how you play corn with these fuckers. Yeah, he's got a move of... Um, wait, is he injured? No, he's not. It's this one that's injured. Yeah. A move of 10 when he's uninjured, this one. So I think that very safely will put him within uh, 2 inch. Uh, is it 2 inch for combat or 1 inch? Uh, 1 inch, isn't it? 3, isn't it? Alright, oh, okay. Because you can't end the move within 3 inches of a unit that you're not in combat with. Okie dokie. Yeah, so that'll put him. So I'll just get him down here. But it'll be a charge as well, won't it? No, wait, sorry, that's a full back. You can't end the move within three inches. Oh, you know. Well, he's easily down there with his turn. It's only yeah, seven. Yeah, so, so long as you remember to charge him, then it's fine. Right. Potentially on turn five. Um, you could get this guy down here. We'll see. Right. No more movement then. Oh, the charge of the uh, mighty skull Wait, crusher. Shooting phase. No, it's the charge. Oh, shooting then charge. Yeah. Shooting then charge. No shooting. I ain't got any range units left. Yeah. And then straight into charge. charge I have to do something with these with charging as well. The sword will get something. So charge on these. Four up. Come on, Bobby. <sighs> I got seven. They made the charge. They made the charge. Boo. A very necessary move for me. Uh, yeah, there's only going to be one model that is able to hit that guy, I believe. And the other two. Kind of about like this. Because, mm. like, I could, if you look over here, I would guess that the terrain's blocking his view. Yes. 
so only one can hit the Source God, but it should be enough, to be honest. I think so. You've got all the Thoradons hitting them as well. Am I allowed to pile in on your base with these Thoradons? Seems yes. like I couldn't move them. Uh, I would have piled in with the Mighty Skull Crusher, personally. <laughs> uh, in fact... Though piling was meant to be done in your movement phase, I did say to do it then. <laughs> Yeah, you did. I don't, I've only just remembered. Yes, pilot. Pilot. It makes no difference right now, does it? Other than the fact nah, that I for nah. forgot. All it means is, uh, is uh, whoever wins the next. <laughs> it does mean that. <laughs> it's to the wire, mate. It's to the wire. You, you're about to. Oh, I really wish I didn't save as much points and started using them earlier. Stay alive, uh, priest. I need to just summon a unit. Alive. You just reminded me. Uh, Under okay. Yeah. You were meant to do that movement phase, though, not charging rays. Okay. Uh, no, I, I, I understand you're uh, thinking about rules more as it's getting to the wire, but uh, it makes no difference. It still wouldn't. Yeah. One, two, three. Here comes. Fuck. <laughs> so, I, I don't think they're going to make any difference unless it rolls into turn five. Stand by. Got to look at the summoning rules. I think it's the same as yours, to be honest. Like 12 and 16, I'm pretty sure. But I'll get it. Uh, it probably has to be from a general or a wizard, right? So you'd have to oh, use your skull. Oh, it'll be one. the skull. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. More than 9 inch and within 8 inch of a skull or a hero. Uh, is this blood? Oh, 16, 16 inch of a skull. Altar. The blood stucker is still a hero, yes, done. You're Not really so carrying me here. <laughs> but it needs to be 9 inch. So the only rule is 8 inch from a HQ, 16 inch from a skull altar, 9 inch from all enemy units. So it needs to be 9 inch from all enemy units is a thing. So I can use him as a base, but it needs yep. to be 9 inch away from everything. And within 8 inches of the bloodstock, I don't think you can summon with it. Possibly down here. So that's too close to the slam oh. and too close to there. I think it's going to be the same down here, if I'm honest. Oops, bottom one. Too close to the skinks. Yeah, he's not going to have it, is he? It's going to have to be the Skalata. And it's... What did I say? 16? What did I say? 16 from the... 16 from the skull, you said. Yeah. 16. Yeah. Can you keep your mouse here while I find the bloody unit? Because I'm going to have to summon it out of yeah. my uh, collection because it's a weird one. I didn't have it ready. Um. Hmm. Might be a little bit of lag for a moment while I summon in my entire bloody army trying to find this thing. It doesn't break anything. How far away does it have to be from enemy units? Nine inch. Nine inch, okay. Stand by. Yeah, 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 I only just, I only just safe for that. <laughs> okay, okay, well, here they come. Now, I'm going to be really awkward as War Armor is. Um, can you move them so they're a bit further? Not sure, do If it's only just these, we'll have to go like this. Yeah. Why the fuck is there a rip tooth there? These are flesh hounds, not a rip tooth. I have to juke one of these. So. They're a uh, HQ unit. A summoned in HQ unit, so I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not HQ, sorry, a battle, the, battle, battle line, my bad. No, they're no. a battle line unit. Oh, crafty. Mm. Assuming the rules for battle line work for summoned in units as well, that's what's going to be my question. But yes, no. If it's if it's got a battle line keyword, it's a battle line unit, regardless of whether it's summoned or not. Oh, is it a keyword? Is it okay? I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm. That's my movement, charge, and shooting over. Should we go to the combat and left to right? Okay, right to left. Or should we go right to left? 
Like my, no, no, my no right. it's from my angle, it's right to left. Yeah, should we go this way? Because if I win, you can't win. Yeah, start well, we can start in the middle and then do this side. Start in the middle and do the side if necessary for time purposes. Yeah. I know it's not as epic, but it's, yeah. So, in the middle, we shall begin with this guy, Mighty Skull Crusher. Yes. On your Skink Boost. Skink, who I'm going to spend a command point and he's all out defending. Ah, yes. How many command points have I got? i got one left. Oh, hold up, Dan. Before we start this, I know it's frustrating, but I want to win for once in my life. <laughs> if I remember in the rules I can do so. Before we go into that, Dan, just step back a moment. I forgot yep. to do something with my slaughter breast. I caused damage at the end of the charging. Did you actually roll the thing. charge on them? Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll, I'll give myself my command point back for now, then. Okay, okay. And uh, it's something to do with charging, actually. Um, Never mind, it's just to change the charge into 3d6, um, but at the end of the combat phase, they get something. That's not yet, though. So, Okay, sorry about that. You can take back your all that was spent. And I will begin my attacks with my mighty skull crusher. Okay, and I will redo my all out defense then, because he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be all out defending from quite a few characters, eh? Skink priest, skink priest. He's only 5 plus save. Alrighty, yep. we're, we're gonna go with uh, Insol called. Sorry, the Blood Glaive forward to hit. 1, 2, 3, 4. Rolling. Forwards to hit. Oh, not such a good roll. Only one went through. To wound, 3 up. Yeah, that went through. Minus 1 rend. 1 to save at minus 1 rend. Except minus 2 rend, sorry. And it's two rend. He died. He died. Okay. There goes the skink priest. The priest is dead. A moment of silence for the skink priest. Moving into the ogre thorigans. They don't have a target, right? Yeah. Actually, no. They're close enough to fight these guys, aren't they? Do they have Only to pile in first, or no? No, 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 they, they, if, if you're within one inch in a, like, a mess like this, you, you can attack. Can they pile in though now that the skink is dead or no? Uh, Pylons, I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I feel like we just did pylons in move, so why would they get to pile in again? But then it makes sense that they'd be able to. <laughs> I'm wondering if they'll get a pile in at all. The skink priest they were fighting died, did they get a pile in? No, we, last time we were playing it, when something died, you couldn't pile in because there was nothing to pile into. Alright then. I've got limited cognition but on the subject, honestly. That, that's, no, just that was just uh, off the cuff rule we came up with. I don't know if that's the official rule. So, let's look it up. Okay, let's look it up. Mm. Pylons! It doesn't take us two seconds anyway. Uh, core rules. Pile. Pile in. How does it work? You can make a model. You can move a model using a piling. When you make a piling move, it must finish the model no further from the nearest enemy user than it was at the start of the move. That's nice. But how does it happen? Like, it just, That's the end of piling on this. That's crazy. Uh, piling moves happen before you attack. So after you've made all the piling moves for a unit, you must make the combat attacks with each model in the unit within range of an enemy model. I'm not seeing it. <sighs> when you pick a unit to fight, so it's in that whole section, so 12.1.1 fight. When you pick a unit to fight, first you can make a pile-in move with each model in the unit. So I'm now picking my... Yeah, Ogre so you can now pile-in with them. So I can pile-in with them. And then you must make combat attack with the models in the unit. Okay, yeah. It makes sense. You kill a unit, you get to kill the one next to it. Rather yeah. than just being disabled for the whole time because... Yeah, because like, the, the bat was moving and like you, yeah. you pushed forward. and yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, I'm bringing them in. Not 
like that, I'm not though, because he's touching his base. Right. I bought him in for the Soros Guard. It's not yes. looking good for Mr. Soros Guard. He, is that the last model? No, he's got one, two. There's two models. Two, two. Each for two wing. And we've got. I think he'll, I think they'll both go down here. We've got ten attacks at the go. I'm gonna wall out attack. So plus one to attack rolls. Is that on here? Yeah. Yeah. All right, two ups to hit on ten dice. Look at all them lovely ones. So that's, <laughs> that's seven though. But yeah, there were three ones. That's crazy. So we got seven. Yep. And then we got three ups to wound. Four. Four. Any rend? Uh, minus two rend. Minus two rend, so six is to save. Yeah, three damage each. No saves. They both die. Okay, okay. Um, there's nothing of yours left on this objective. No. So if you end turn now, you win. End my turn. And you G -G win. Well done on playing the brand new yeah. faction. I appreciate that. Thank you. What? Yeah, lizard men. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, lizard men. They're they're a thing. I like them. They're, they're a thing. I I like them. I first I had a big time. plan, and you killed the, like the linchpin of my big plan in the first time uh -huh. before he could do anything. So that didn't help. <laughs> Because he could teleport basically my whole army in behind you, yeah, which yeah. was the big plan, and it didn't go well. Like you teleport him around the back. Yeah, I think they're uh, they're not as mobile as as Silver Neff. I saw that teleport thing and thought, oh, it'd be amazing. <laughs> but Dan's with you guys, you got it here. <laughs> yeah, that spell casting is really strong. Like that slant just gets for a basic general. It's not even like a name character or anything. Gets three spells every time to cast. Three. Oh gosh. Well, and I I should have also not saved up as many faction points and started summoning earlier. Yeah. Like I've, I've gone past several things on the list trying to get one of the big things out. Did our game last more than three hours? Yes, it did. Yes, yes it did. Did Dan try a new faction? Yes, did Brian? Yes, no. yes, yes it did. So did we miss up? Did we miss up with the rules? Did Dan? Yes. Yes. <laughs> did Brian? Yes. <laughs> this season, September to December, we've played two matches. Dan won one, Brian's won one. Dan's tried one new faction, two worlds mishaps, and two extended matches for three, yes. three hours. And uh, and uh, I'll, I'll have you know that the ne next game, it'll be Whee. different again. Well, I've really enjoyed myself, Dan. Thank you. Would you like to flip the I'm table? Go I'm going back to trees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going there back we to go. the trees. I'm not going to do an outro, man. viewers, it's just me and Dan. I'll probably do an intro, though, and just let you know what's going on, because we recorded a big match. I'll tell you all about it, anyway. But thanks, viewers. It, here's, my, here's, my <laughs> here's my outro. Here's my outro. Trees greater than lizards. You prefer the Sylvanus to the Seraphon. I have yeah. a friend that probably disagree with you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Take care. Bye. Bye.